Buy me a piece of butter. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Everything gonna be all right. Whoa. I will make love to you daily. Just put a dub on my pie. Cause you're cool. And I'm cool. And we're cool. Cause you're cool. And I'm cool. And we're cool. the best pickles if you know you know I'm no. home no more. He told me to come back, big God. And guess what? I'm going to go back again, big God. So, yeah. You check her, not me. I'm you calling my home no more. A real player, a check the girl. I'm now, calling my home no more. Don't to me no more with that. So, tell what? She already told me she going to fish me dinner with that. Tanisha, 44, do you have any kids, honey? I do. How many kids? I have five. Okay, how old are your kids? The oldest just turned 27 today. The youngest is 17. Honey, all five ages, Tanisha, honey. 27, 24, 18, 17, and 15. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. She got no job, and she got five kids. She look for a man. Yeah. Who is they right mind? Kendra said, are you in Kendra don't understand the how silly that question is? Are you in position to date? Well, Quisha wanted to say, I'm in the best position to date. I ain't got no job. Somebody need to come in here and help me. Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. I have five. Uh oh, let's get to how old are these five kids, girl? 20, 17, 13, 7, and 3. All about the same man? Absolutely not. What? Why are we having kids by the same man? Absolutely nothing. We just don't. Absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that that just was not uh, what panned out for for me okay, and the choices that happened at the time. Bye, girl. Now I'm. Now I'm I know it. Kendra. Go I'm ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm again. I know. First, why are you not with the three year old dad? Uh, because Kendra, he was married, unbeknownst to me. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. What are we doing? Are we gonna do this? You 40 years old with a young child, your last baby father, the fifth of the five. She five for five, if y'all didn't hear her. Five for five. And she said the fifth baby daddy was married. You're just too good to be true. Yeah. Can't take my eyes off of you. Yeah. You'll be like heaven to touch. I want to bust the now. <laughs> Stop playing. Oh, how many kids do you have, Jasmine? I have six. Six kids. How old are your kids, Jasmine? Um, Age range from 14 to... Oh, give me all the ages. Um, 14, 12... 10, 6, 4-year-old Christmas Eve, 
and a one year old December 16th. Okay, Jasmine, how old are you? 32. 32. Are they all by the same man? No. How many men? Five. Five. So why are you not with the one year old dad? Ooh. Uh, wrong choice. <laughs> Stop, man. What the hell is we doing? Here we go. Quick draw bone quisha. I ain't I ain't never seen bone quisha be so rapid fire with the excuses. Oh. Mind. I'm only dreaming Cause if I wait girl and you're not by my side I feel like half of me is no longer alive So please shorty Before you walk out that door booby Won't you listen to my song If only I give you one last chance That cry You can no longer dance You got to be faithful So we can be what? I said what? Two wrongs don't make it right If a wrong ain't trying to fight I'm Trying to have some dinner with some candlelight Rub on yours with this crack fire when your man says which Rolls Royce are you choosing? The Phantom, the Spectra, the Phantom, the Spectra. But I gotta keep my baby. Oh, I love my baby. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Wave to the haters, baby. Okay. Oh my goodness. Rodeo Drive, Palm Trees. Can this really be my life? Walking out of Chanel? Like, what is going on? Running to my rose? What is this? I love my man. He's better than the prayer. Mwah. Hey, black man. I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. Ain't nothing better than a black man to be in this world. If you're a black man, you're a king. You'll always be a king. Woo-wee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it all day long. I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. <laughs> We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. It's time. Let's let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live single by choices Tuesday night. Brought to you by Carpet for the Horse Productions. We in the building, Mr. Walker. How you feeling, brother? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan freaking tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bonquishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices. In affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast, 
and also as all you Negroes know in association with ain't no fun once the rabbits got the gun entertainment what's going on with you this fine spring tuesday in the big name of jesus you hear me how y'all feeling out there tonight we in the building um jam-packed show as most of y'all know that's like a cliche anymore <laughs> hey happy springtime just for springtime this thing got cold in the mammoth gym i don't know where y'all at but up here up here in the steel city ish it's cold it's cold as a witch's city it ain't too cool <laughs> yes it is so bundle up tonight get you some wine some popcorn sit back we got a jam-packed show hit the like button as y'all coming into the room so that's the first thing y'all need to be doing because we only got 63 likes so <laughs> hit the like button folks before we get the train on the tracks y'all so rude we do this every show it's cool hit the like button in the meantime y'all know that sister in the video that's always mug banging monique know i'm talking about there was this this doctor this physician registered nurse brother he contacted her gave her some feedback on one of her mukbang videos and he was so kind he was like hey i love your content i used to be over 300 350 pounds i done had gastric bypass you know i've been there you know and he was giving so much empathy and she blocked him <laughs> he was like you know i love your content he's like maybe you know maybe try to choose something a little healthier you're awesome you're wonderful i love everything about you and she still blocked him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shout out to my guy Theo Coop. I see Theo, I dropped that video and he was cooking on that. Yeah, that's crazy, post sister. Yeah, they don't oh. want, they ain't trying to hear that. They up here to be coddled, y'all know. There you go, it was big dog Theo Coop over at the Do Better Podcast. There you go. Yes, like how else are we supposed to deliver this love to our lovely ladies? He tried the nice way. We've been abandoned that over him. <laughs> Man, so... Like I said, here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Shout out to um, Nikki Monroe for joining the channel membership. We appreciate you. Also, you shout too. out to the sister that joined earlier today. I want to make sure I get her name correct. She was a she was a whole doctor, so I'll put some respect on her name. She had joined the channel membership jo during the live premiere earlier. Appreciate you, sister. Appreciate you, good doctor. There we go. See that? I'm about to start shaming y'all like Dr. Moist Boyce. Only the intelligent sisters can get down over here, all right? <laughs> Their name was Dr. Vicky Coleman. So Appreciate shout out to you, sister. Appreciate you, Dr. Vicky. And shout out to Nikki Monroe. And, you know, El Paulino gifted a channel membership, and she came through with her super sticker. <laughs> I can set my watch to it, the ever so pleasant El Paulino package. We appreciate you, sister. And there you go. And light of that, whoever got gifted that, we got new emojis tonight. So we officially got uh where we at? We got the we got big unk. We got the $40. So we got big unk $40 emoji in there. All right. Y'all got that. I got $40. We got, <laughs> we got, um, my guy, we got grapes, apples, apples, uh, Orlando, <laughs> and we got Charleston White pumping and dumping. So they won't, all they want to do is try to sell us apples and grapes, things we got for free. All right. All they care about is, you know, if you, if you can hump and pump. And only thing they want to know if you got that hot fody. <laughs> so there we go. Shout out to all the channel members. If you have not yet, don't hesitate to join the channel membership to get all the new emojis <laughs> along with a gang of other ones. There's about there's a there's a ton of emojis in there. So got to be a channel member to have them, though. Out of those three emojis. Only one had straight eyes, and the one had straight eyes, brain went too straight. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah! Boom, <laughs> Oh, man. So, there All we right. go. We do it for y'all. Shout out to the channel members. We're going to get cooking tonight. 
we got a jam packed show like i was just saying um we got one sister here we'll see it's 40 dollars. this was a she was on the show a few days ago we've been meaning to get to her she's been on the back burner somehow i'm trying, you know to, I'm trying to i love and, i love any more more than not there's newcomers coming to the channel and they are thanking us for shining a light on this world that is the modern day market. They be in the comments like, I had no idea that this mm. madness was amongst us. You know, what they say, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> you know, half of our folks out here going completely mad. Man. So that's all. Um, anymore, we are journalists. It's official. Like, I don't know if you got to go to college or something, but that's all right. We're going to get like an honorary doctorate because I truly feel like a journalist at this point. Take it or leave it, folks. But that's where we at. We done documented so many of this. That's what so about people say, wish your skin in the game. We journalists anymore. Just what it is. At this point, we we got some uh, uh, limited accountability and limited responsibility. Nevertheless, accountability and responsibility all the same. And we journalists, all right. No matter how you spell it, that's what we is. <laughs> that's all. So that's like going to CNN, asking them why they cover it in the news and the election and stuff. What do you mean? They like we journal. This is what we do. We post to. That's what we we doing our job. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we go. So we are gonna get right into it. Forty dollars skips. Uh, I'm gonna let this sister cook. Hit the like button, folks. Here we go. Jamie, where are you calling me from, boo? Tennessee. Tennessee? Yes. Yeah. How old are you? I have it. Um, I have to be honest. I, I really am looking for a friend, not like a man. Well, you know, this ain't the friend show. It's not the friend show. You got to be, yeah. fr I believe in you have to be friends before. You know, you get into a relationship. Right, but what is the goal? Is the goal to be friends? You're gonna have sex with them one day, or are you just trying to meet a friend that you kick it with? I'm trying to meet a friend that turns out to be something long standing and forever, a forever friend, or actually that can lead into marriage or a partnership. Are y'all gonna be having sex while you're friends? No. <laughs> How long are you gonna be friends for? I'm sorry. How long do you want to be friends for? It depends on the person. Like, it depends on where their commitment is, like, where their mindset is. So could he have sex with other people? No. Then what kind of friendship is this? You don't want to, it's, it's not a friendship. Then you want to be in something that you get to know because you, you're, he's your friend. You don't want to have sex with him. You don't want him to have sex with nobody else. You don't know what you want to call this girl. You confusing us. Well, let me tell you what kind of friends I'm looking for. I'm looking for friends that love their self and are empowered and believe and and just like they have the mind, same mindset as me, which is basically you respect yourself enough not to be having sex. So, you know, with everybody okay, and just give yourself other away. people. Huh? Could he date other people? No. <laughs> so no. you want to, okay, so he's your friend. So basically he's your friend. He's not your man. So you want to say we're friends first. You don't want to have sex with him. That's fine. You don't want him to have sex with nobody else. And you don't want him to date nobody else. So why are you? This is not a friendship, honey. Your friend can do whatever they want to do. You want a person that you can mm -mm. get to know. Girl, I disagree. I disagree, girl, because first of all, if someone was looking for me, I'm available. I don't, I'm not linked in, you know, with anyone. I'm not um, tied to anyone and you could be my, you know. But nine times I'm about to get to know what you want more, but let me find out what you want more before I say this. But nine times out of 10, you're going to describe a man that got a lot of use, like got a lot of options of women who, well, let me figure out what you want. Do you <laughs> We getting right into it tonight, folks. Bone Quisha here. Woo! This what we listening to. Bone Quisha talking about she want a forever friend, you know, forever whatever. This is the modern woman hoodoo that's just tainting the sexual marketplace. Her sick hoodoo is the pee and poo in the dating pool. I'm she don't know what she's looking for. 
It's all hazy and murky, like a doo-doo filled pool. I'm just looking for a friend, Kendra. Cause see, I believe first you start off as friends and then you stay friends forever. But if I if I get enough Casamigos in me, he might get some of this cool to cat of Kendra. He don't know until he come find out, but he might not. You see, we don't know. Come find out. <laughs> Who do? <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna let her cook. Shout out to Sir Charles. He says, thanks for the new emojis. Yeah! Need them. Need them for chicks like this. Uh, Apples right now. Put it up. <laughs> Apples? Shit. <laughs> Shout out to Rekai Media. Says, Gavin X, Mr. Walker, you two bring respect to journalists. He says, we are here to support you with facts and data. We appreciate you. Shout out to our infield journalists. Appreciate you. Yes. My guy Q come through. He says they big with no shame these days. Be friends. Okay. They not. That's CQ. You interpret that so wrong. Boom. Quisha don't beg. She just demands in an indirect way. <laughs> you got to listen closer. <laughs> Man. And shout out to Blue Collar Jim. Says Kendra Samuels tired of these heifers. Mm, mm. Hey, it wears on you. I feel it. Yeah. Kendra need that Rolls Royce to ease her pain. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. I look a certain way. I would like for him to uh, take care of himself and have good hygiene. Here we go. Did he make a certain amount of money? He has to have at least a dollar and a dream. He can't like not be ambitious and just sit on the couch here? and not. Because I, I can do it. You well. gotta talk direct with me. How much money he got to make? No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's not a. It's to me like. I want somebody that at least has a dream like I'm because I'm a multiplier. Right. And I'm able to, you know, help you get to where you need to be in life. But uh, if you just sitting on the couch and you're not thinking or dreaming about anything, if you don't have any ambitions, then you already done. You already over with. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Your name is Jamie. I'm sorry. What's your name, honey? Jamie. Jamie. OK. And where are you calling us from? Tennessee? Yes. OK. How old are you? Uh, 36. 36. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Gemini. Gemini. I don't believe in you all yeah. over the place. It's two people I'm talking to. <laughs> Gemini. Oh, well, I don't really believe in that, but I do tend to have different type of different, you know, personalities. I, I don't believe in zodiac signs, but I do have like a mo I go through different moods and it's a, you know, you get a different me. I'm so nervous, Kendra. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Where? Where? Oh, she's a multiplier, Mr. Walker. In Where? All. Huh? Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> hey, hold on. Time's out. Let's back up now. Now, a uh, 36 year old sister here, she ain't got no kids. She childless. All right. All right. Uh, there's so the dust is extremely thick on the screen. I can't tell if there's lashes present or not, so please excuse me. Um, I'm trying to give her something here. It's it's just, it's too much dust. I'm I'm choked out by the dust. But she ain't got no kids. That's a plus. You know what? We know how these con Kendra contestants get down. Childless. <laughs> Top twenty five. I don't know what. It oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> not the cap. She listen. Who doing all? You listen here. This is what y'all got to choose from. Who doing all? She childless. Let's hear what else she uh, she said. She, income, income, income. She said all you gotta have is a dollar and a dream. What we talking about? She said don't be sitting on the couch too long. All dollar right. Dream. <laughs> Who is she? J Cole. Who we talking about up here, man? Y'all be listening to too much music. Just saying stuff. <laughs> hey, Kendra said you gotta speak directly to me. So I don't know what the heck that hoodoo mean. Appreciate you, Kendra. That's all they got is sick hoodoo. Still yet, this one y'all top candidates, whether y'all like <laughs> it or not. Here we go. We got a cash app. Shout out to Mick. Mick come through with the $5 in the cash app. Says, good evening, SBC Nation. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Good evening. Also, shout out to Sal Bill. Says, I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. I need that's what I need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all she needs. A dollar in a dream. 
a dollar in a sack. You know, a quick, a quick, uh, get your boy to front you a sack. Go ahead, move that, flip that, make something smack. That's all she need. Dollar in a dream. <laughs> yeah, she up here. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. And shout out to I Am Divine. Says schizophrenia is real out here. Get some help. Listen, let's timestamp this. We're about 26 minutes in. Timestamp this moment. By the end of the night, this one super chat here will ring home because it's about to be a wild night. How in the world is schizophrenia going to ring loud throughout our, our dating show review? <laughs> How? Schizophrenia shouldn't be a part of that. Huh? <laughs> We shall see. Welcome to, welcome to Shutter Island. <laughs> there we go. Shout out to Rachai. Says her software corrupted, Mr. Walker. Indeed. Indeed it is. I know. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. Okay. Well, let's let's keep going. Don't be nervous. What do you do for a living, Jamie? I'm an inter, uh, independent contractor. And anything, basically, I can do to get some money. So I have done a lot of things in life, different different kind of things but as of right now i'm an independent contractor and an aspiring um entrepreneur actually my family has a business do you mind if i tell everybody to follow the page yes i do mind that's not why you're here you're okay. here to find your friend okay okay all right so jamie tennessee 36 no kids gemini independent entrepreneur um so what kind of men are you looking for honey I want somebody that when I look into their eyes, I can see the truth. I don't want, you know, to feel like someone's lying to me. I want somebody to be, you know, absolute. Like I want them to imitate power and honesty. I want them to have control of the room wherever they go. Um, be gentle and kind and apologetic. I need somebody who, like I said, is a ambitious, you know, friendly. Because I'm looking for somebody I can laugh with for the rest of my life. Okay, what are your deal breakers? One to have sex, like, you know, and just like not respecting, like, don't get me wrong, okay? <laughs> like, it, I I enjoy enjoying each other, but you're not about to just spring it on me and be disrespectful and, and I can't, like, that's all you want to talk about. Um, another deal breaker is like, you don't have a good relationship with, with women like your mother. You disrespect your mother. Um, uh, let me see. Someone who doesn't know how to compliment or help a woman feel comfortable in her own skin. Someone who doesn't have any friends and nobody likes them. So you want a popular man? Not really popular, no. Heck no, because I don't want him running around like we said before. Like, I don't want him having all type of friends, but I at least want him to have a good name. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, okay. So, should he look a certain way? He should have good hygiene and, you know, keep yourself. Like, confidence is the look for me. So, like, if he doesn't necessarily have it physically, his spirit will be attractive to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And money, you don't have a, so he can make $20,000 and have a dream and that's fine with you? Oh yeah, well, you. I mean, let's be honest, Kendra, I do want a rich man, but I was just letting you well, know. Well, don't, well, how about, no, no, honey. Jamie, you be honest. I'm asking you the questions. You the one over here giving me nursery rhyme answers, a dollar and a dream child. We grown folks. I asked well, hold on with the nursery rhyme me. because I'm nervous, Kendra. I can't help well, okay, it. You a big star. Listen, I see you everywhere. Nervous, you on TV. Well, listen, nerd Jamie, honey. And I'm and I and I'll and I'll be honest, I'm gonna tell y'all this is a TikTok show. It took me a whole two hours to figure out how to make the screen split. So my patience probably I was isn't with as you. long. And it's late as hell. So <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> apologize. I'm gonna apologize. But at the same time, Jamie, I don't got time for these little kid games. I asked you, do he gotta make a certain amount of money? You said a dollar in a dream. I said, I raised your dollar to $20,000. And now you <laughs> say you want somebody rich. Tell me what you want, girl. You gotta make a certain amount of money. I like, some, I like somebody with some money, girl. You know, I, mean, I like somebody that can take care of me and my family and promote the, the dreams that I have. But all I'm saying is I serve a big God. And so I can take a vision and turn it into, I told you I'm an entrepreneur. That's I'm a, why I said, okay, but Jamie, I said, with that being said, would you date a man that made 20K and had a dream? Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. Okay. So Data Mana has 20K in a dream. Let's do the Kendra cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Kendra, you got to hold on. Let me let me get myself. Hold on now. <laughs> hold on, okay? Oh God. I don't even know how I'm gonna set you up. Can you see? No, we got to see your legs. Why you gotta see? <laughs> I don't know why she's with me. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> okay, we we gotta live with it. So if you just tuned in, this is Jamie Tennessee. What? Okay. <clears throat> so what did I say? I said um this was Kendra top a top. Contested top 25. Is that what I originally said? I've been wrong before. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Huh? I give people a chance. This is what I want people to see. I I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the egg on my face for all the rest of the brothers out here, you know. So y'all don't have to have egg on your face. I'm gonna do it. So see how I gave her a shot. I said, This top 25, she ain't got no kids, she ain't got no eyelashes. And then she started talking. And now I'm saying, hey, we egg on my face. I'm gonna give me a mask. It's gonna be a big sunny side, sunny side up egg. And it's just gonna be <laughs> just gonna put it right on my face because that's how I look right now. She ain't she ain't a top contestant. She not. She a regular, degular Kendra contestant. She just right in the midst of them. Man. And she was gonna get cooking. Shout out to Sal Bill says, I want him to be. <laughs> Imitate. <He> said, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honesty and she, power, Bokey. Sal Bill, it got wonky. I was trying to keep up too. She want him. She want him to control a room, be imitate and and soft and apologetic and powerful. Did y'all not hear her words? Only thing this sister here was missing was a dang on cauldron. And a big old stick up there saying toil, toil, boy, and bubble. That's it. The only thing she was missing with all that sick hoodoo she was stirring up. Get out of here with that. Yeah, thank God she ain't got no kids. That's good a lot of times. Hey, man. <laughs> so shout out to Richa. All right, we see Richa come through. He said, half off. Shorty Gavin X. Her software corrupted. She done. She was working her way there. She wasn't done, though. This interview was long from done, but uh, Divine Photos came through. And y'all finished her off. Mm. He says, Kendra, get her off the screen. Her reading levels must be Dr. Seuss. Mm. Hey, I tell you what, shout out to Kendra more and more. And Kendra may want to be careful as far as her production, but she be giving more and more pretty firm pushback <laughs> right to Boquisha's face. Well, glory to her. <laughs> Man. So, shout out to H. Uh, Luis says, or Lewis says, yep, that is definitely mental illness. Mm -hmm. She our age up there, carrying on like that, by the way. Yeah, it's on the forefront tonight, I'm telling you. <laughs> and shout out to Filthy Ramirez says, tinge of lay crack. <laughs> What's going on, Filthy? <laughs> yeah, I was catching it. I'm starting to get a tinge of like crack. <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> Shout out to Lala. She come through, become a channel member. All right. You got your new emojis in there, Lala. Use them responsibly. There you go. You can. You could have used all three of the new ones right now. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. As far as she goes, shout out to Racha, Divine Photos, the show sponsors. Um, so here we go. So listen, this woman childless she didn't come up here with a whole bunch of trinkets on her face. And as far as her hairdo, it looks like it ain't, it's not egregious. We'll say that it's not egregious. But however, best, I was gonna say, I bet she get ejected to outer space. <laughs> he gonna go ahead and draw a line to the sand. Say, yeah. <laughs> you know what? If there you did, it is done. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. Hey, I knew a guy was gonna say I was trying to 
save her just a little bit. But we can't get past that corrupted software. Ladies and gentlemen, Bone Quish is a nug nug. Please, for the sake of humanity, please see just how important the software is. It don't matter, it don't matter what you look like. It don't matter how, how big you, your doo-doo shoot is, all right? Don't matter. The software. So first looks, then software, but got to have both of them. How about that? <laughs> Well, here we go. We're going to get right back into it. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Shout out to J-O-B. Says, shout out to SBC fam. Got my Fosachi sweater. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! That's yes. Dope. The Fosachi movement continues. Fosachi. F-O-Sachi. Ninjas. <laughs> so, shout out to J-O-B, who is one of our loyal supporters. Also, um... Where we at? Wanted to go in here, make sure JLB had a wrench. I know there's a couple people missing the wrench that have been supporting lately. And yeah, so that's much egregious. I wish, like I said, I waited for StreamYard to get that feature in there. Too so lazy. you can see, yeah. But now we can see it. We actually can see it now. Well, I want to get the feature to where we can add you no know, moderators and stuff straight from StreamYard. Ah, uh, there we go. Tell you what, I always wonder, is that Job or J space O B because it looked like it's a space in between the J and the O and it's messing with my mess with my mind. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know. Because it's, it's tricky, it's messing with me. <laughs> but yeah, that's too dope. You got your Fasachi sweater. So got his hoodie come in. So anybody out there, if you want one, hit the email and everybody else let us know. Also, Matt, Matt, you, yours is on the way. You know, Matt should be there. Hopefully by Thursday show, and that part. There we go, my man. He says it's a space. Okay, so is is it J op? <laughs> it's a space between the J and the O. I thought so. Is Almost it like odd job. Remember odd job off of Ooh, for y'all. Oh, you know what? Those now that was a part of the good old days. I got to reminisce here for a sec. One nothing better. Then getting with your boys, they got four working controllers. Somebody always had the one that was jacked up, the one that sucked. Either the one, either the person that was terrible got the broken controller, or the one that was real good. You know, he get they ganged up on a mayhem use the broken controller because he's always winning. However, the cheater, the cheating ninja, always got odd job with the golden gun. That's a cheat. That's cheat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it, he come one shot, and he all he too short. He, it's hard to hit him. That's some bull jive. And I'm get I got I got trauma from that. <laughs> so that was me. That was me. No shame. No shame. All right. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. So here we go. We're gonna get back into it. That's funny. But yeah, eh? No, we used to be like it was good. We would outlaw them sometimes, but normally it was a race. Who can get them? You know? That's true, yeah, but and it was always when the game yeah. first load up, you gotta hurry up and pick your character. So when the game load up, whoever he was always at the bottom, I think. So whoever, whoever can scroll down first <laughs> and get him, you know. That's terrible. and then I think once you I don't know, I, I don't remember the particulars, but long story short, I was the odd job. That was yeah, my guy. He, he was the cheater. Gavin was the cheater. There's y'all answer. <laughs> hey, but you could get the golden gun with anybody, I thought. You could, but odd job in combination with the golden gun wasn't cool. There you go. There you go. It just yeah. wasn't. <laughs> you could shoot shoot somebody in the toe and they, they out of there. That's just not cool. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the, you taking it back. Now some people, some people in the chat either too young or too old, but if you know, you know. Ain't nothing like it. You had to be there. You had to be there. Gold nine, uh, you and three, of your partners. Some some soda and some pizza. One nothing better. <laughs> that part, huh? Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! And shout out to Maracino. Maracino, she come through and join the channel membership. We appreciate you. Appreciate you, sister. All right. So here we go. We're going to get into it. Makesha's timestamp. Hit the like button. We only got 160 likes right now. So what are we gonna do, folks? Egregious. Trey, there you go. That halo. That was college. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Them Halo uh tournaments was epic. I was one of the first ones in my friend group to know how to do the slide with the alien sword, which was a you know what I'm saying, one one kill deal too. Oh yeah, Halo. That was it. So here we go. Got the timestamp. Hit the like button. We down. We got 166 likes. Come on, folks. I know we can do better. I know we can get over two 250. All right. So that's crazy. It said literally half. <laughs> Man. Yeah, get that money. Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> And it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Jamisa Walker. She come through with 10 channel memberships. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! See you, Jamisa. Now, we family? Huh? We can? We can? <laughs> now we moving. We getting people signing up. We getting gifted. And the more channel members we get, the more emojis we can add, folks. Keep that in mind. There you go. Right now we maxed out. We can't add no more. So we need more channel members so we can add more emojis. See how that works? It's a beautiful system. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to her. Everybody who got one of those channel memberships, make sure you go ahead and thank that sister. For sure. And we're going to pull this video up. Hit the like button. We're back to $40 skips. Mm. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Give me one second. On, on I need a shirt. The lights on. Honey. What you say? Y'all be watching me in the dark. Here, here we go. Here we go. Trying to get a shirt. Well, you call me with no shirt on, girl. I didn't know you was gonna answer that quick. All right, I'm ready. Good. I'm, I'm ready. Turn right on. Okay. What's your name, eh, boo? I'm not. Nari? Nari, is your first time here? Yes. Nari, where you live? Where you call me from, babe? Chicago. Chicago. How old are you? 26. 26? What do you do for a living? So, technically, I'm a truck driver, but right now I'm in construction school, but I also do locks, retwist styles, piercings, and bartends as well. So, I got a couple different things that I do. So... <laughs> What job pays the most? Truck driving. Okay, so I'll say truck driver and other entrepreneurial things. Yeah. You raise the air. You have any children? I heard somebody say mommy. Daddy. I have one. Daddy. Here. Baby won't let you be great. She's trying to find you a stepdaddy, sweetie. <laughs> trying to find you a stepdaddy. Yeah, I have one kid. Be patient. He wants juice juice. Give him his juice juice. Yeah, Miss Juices, how old is your baby? My, my son is three. Three. Why are you not with the father? Toxic. He's toxic. Why you have a baby together? So I was I was tricked, I would say, because in the beginning he was very nice to me, very sweet, but then he started to show his true colors later on down the line. How long, how long was he sweet before you signed his father? How long was he sweet before you saw his true colors? A year. And, got, and then you got, when did you get pregnant? Um, so I got pregnant like at the beginning of that next year. And then you really wasn't sweet. Then he, he started to like downplay me. Um, before we even known I was pregnant, he was like, Oh, you're fat, you're you know, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, things can, uh, yeah, hey, it's turned, it changed, but I'm not gonna lie, I did try to work it out for my son because you know, growing up, I had a single mom and I didn't want my son to, you know, generational curses, I was trying to break that. Hold on, somewhere for that Kendra, don't start. Men do lie. I'm not saying men don't lie. I mean, women lie too. I'm not saying men don't lie. But I do feel like you gotta, I mean, listen, you gotta learn the person you're about to spend the rest of your life with. Like a baby is such a, it's a lifelong commitment. 
So you got to take responsibility in learning a person. <laughs> I mean, let's keep going though. Huh. They are telling Kendra, stop holding people accountable. They say, Kendra, just host, ask the questions. Leave that to single by choices, Kendra. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't, uh, no, Kendra, men do lie. Kendra, don't do that. Don't be trying to hold her accountable because she out here and she failed at breaking the generational curses that she set out to break. Don't hold her accountable because she failed, Kendra. No, because them then just be lying. They lied. She had no control. She was powerless, and he took her coup kata. And now she here with her orange hair. She didn't intend on being here. Huh? She had no idea she's gonna end up on Kendra's show with orange hair looking for a man with a with a child, single mama. It's his fault. No way. Amazing. So <laughs> here we go. I think this one got a bit of a bomb show. I'm gonna let it go. That's what's my side of the comment section. All right. Nari Chicago 26 truck driver, also with bright hair, has a three-year-old son. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Not the real gray hair, dude. I'm screaming. The baby in the back of the house having a good old time. They said yeah, the baby yeah. wallet. Huh? <laughs> no, I was reading the comments. He said the real gray hair, dude. Oh, God. But listen, right, I was now. <laughs> hey. I guess Rashad says it's over with the fitty ball. He says, got them things. The pipples was ippling. He said, I'm done with the book of wolf. Those dreads, the F she talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Say book of wolf, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So far, I wonder what she had to say. But Rashad said otherwise. She out of there. Yeah, we didn't get too <laughs> we didn't get too much from her. Besides what we got. Listen here. We got enough. She a whole truck driver. Truck driver, loctician. I got jokes for days about that. And she got a whole gang thug life mural right in the middle of her boobies. And both of her boobies look like they pierce. She's a wild one. All right. <laughs> this is a wild hyena. Yeah, she don't not do no locks. Y'all know that lock hustle. Yeah. Anytime a sister like this, she see a man she want to hunch on because she's a handsome boy. She want to hunch on somebody. She say, hey, let me do your locks. I'm going to retwist your locks. But she only retwist locks between the hours of 9 p.m. <laughs> and after 9 p.m. to about 3 a.m. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> So here we go. Yeah, this sister here. We'll see if we catch the Kendra cam. There was also a moment in here where I think uh Nug Nug may have walked in on her. No. So let me see. I'm gonna let this go. My sweater count the big, this is okay. This is me. This is she. <laughs> you, can't see your legs. Be. you can't. Oh, okay, so, uh, I think we see. Oh, you have on shorts. Okay. Oh, you want to see the booty? You want to see the the What's shape, the job. Ooh, We got. You. We can see you got a shape, girl. Girl, we can tell people to make their body because they're gonna do that, Kendra Can child. The Kendra, when they like their body, child, they're gonna give you every angle of the Kendra. Kendra, you see? Kendra, you see me? Kendra, Kendra, Kendra. Kendra. I don't know why, because she was blowed out. Hell! Uh -huh. Blowed out. And, only, uh. only thing I noticed was more tats. That's all I noticed. More tattoos everywhere. She's a handsome boy. She's, I don't know if she's looking to be a wife, but she ain't that, that she ain't. That she ain't. Well, so cute. here we go. I'm trying to catch this timestamp. I'm going to fast forward it one more time. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I think Nug Nug may have walked in. And let me see. Look at Kendra. Kendra, stay in shock. Hit the like <laughs> button, folks. There you go, Britt. Her tummy flat. There you go. There you huh. go, Britt. Yeah. Plus. It's a plus. Tummy flat. Okay, you want to brush your seat. 
this over helping. And not on the CDT. Um, Mommy. the last one. The last one would be go to the other room and brush your teeth. Okay, you want to brush your teeth? Oh, who's that? My baby daddy. Oh, the baby. What? He just your came baby daddy. to visit his kid. He came what? to visit his kid. He's looking for me. Huh? Well, you don't have daddy because it's daddy right there. You said what happened? I said, so we don't need a step daddy because it's daddy right there. No, no, no. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. You see, you see this? This is crazy. So he did a pickup. He, he got the baby tonight. Yeah, he get the baby on the weekends. Yeah. Good daddy. You ain't have to whisper it. I'll say it to him. What? I was trying to be respectful. <laughs> no, but. Uh, the child is Russell Wilson. Wilson. He might be future. Can't pick up the child. We're looking for Russell Wilson. All right, let's keep going. Who else? Wait a minute. Uh oh. There we are. Everybody so, clowning uh, Russ. Everybody clowning Russ. So no 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 come to the house to pick the baby up. And this sister got nothing but Kendra said, Is he a good dad? That's what she was whispering. Is he a mm -hmm. good daddy? She gonna say, No, not really. And you ain't gotta whisper because I say it to his face. In and front you of my... you looking for a man to come into this. <sighs> I tell him to his face, Kendra, in front of our kid. I tell him he ain't ish. Is he coming over here to pick up his kid every weekend or every other weekend? Uh, according to the court documentation, the visitation or whatever, and now he now he a bad Paul. And you see, that's wicked work. Wicked. You you. Here's the thing. Let's say he is a, the scoundrel she claims that you know he is. You made it with him. Now you want to be here mad all of a sudden. You see how the, he said he gonna brush his teeth. You see the look she gave him. She gonna give her new man the same look. Did y'all not see? How she just went cold and numb. Did y'all y'all come on, man? <laughs> y'all y'all seen that? Ain't nothing left. Ain't nothing left in her. It's over. She's a handsome boy. She one of the homies. <laughs> That's it. So shout out to Sal Bill. He says masculine job equal masculine woman. It's a damn shame. Simple math. Very simple. <laughs> Which I come through says Mr. Walker Gavin X. Uh, and I am divine or correct. Schizophrenia is present tonight. Welcome mm -hmm. to Shutter Island. Go watch it if you ain't seen it. <laughs> and shout out to uh, LOTNW. All right. Says Cheetos playoffs. Yeah, that hair is, <laughs> man. It, yeah, it's orange. It's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Yazid. Come through. Says she got sweet potato fries in her head. God, you, you insulting sweet potato fries. I love me some good sweet potato fries. Nah, I don't know what them is. Them ain't nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Walt. Come through with the 20 ball. Says just passing the plate. We appreciate you, Walt. You are appreciate one of the show brother. sponsors as well tonight, brother. Mm-hmm. And Mick come back through in the cash app says, what you got, Mick? He says, first chick looks like a low rent Rihanna. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's a look. I low love rent. That. Yeah. <laughs> story. Shout out to I am divine with five dollars. Says, in my opinion, she is stood. I think she won a kid just to have one. Carrot mm -hmm. Top probably don't even want a man. She want a wife. Real rap, man. Something's up. She extremely brutish. Yeah, she, what is she? She a, she a backpack and some astral glide away from being a stud, step study. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Davis Lewis Love come through, says when a woman has a baby, the man's DNA stays in her body for life and attaches to the brain. 2017 scientific study. 
true? Is that true? I believe it. But I need to know if it's true because I think this is the effect of it. All right, Davis. Appreciate you for that. <laughs> uh, or as we say around here, David, two things is true. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Mm -hmm. Now it's in their brain. <laughs> and Sal Bill, he says they still going meet to meet. Yeah, it's rough, man. Like you said, even if that's the arrangement and you wear her, that's, that's like you said, a man got to come pick his kid up, but to come in the house, I don't know. How y'all feel? Where the stepdaddy's at? Uh, is, is it, did that man still come into the house? How's y'all relationship? Uh, because I've been there as a kid. I remember, you know, stepdaddy's coming in the house with multiple men in one house. As a kid, I'd have seen it. I just, but I, I I don't know how y'all live that. Yeah, he ain't no. See what I'm saying? Like yeah. birthday, Christmas. And... <sighs> It just it's impossible. I don't know. Yeah, it can't be in the house. Can't be, but the, the look she gave him with that cold face, she ain't over, she ain't over their situation. She ain't over that. She still hurt. He's they still hunch whenever she get real lonely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's a dynamic. I don't know. When the kid is being dropped off and you 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 a stepdad, all right, is you like, look, you take the babies out to the car or is Nug Nug coming into the house to get his kids. That's a dynamic. Ooh. Sure. Ain't no way. That's that that ain't cool. I think if, if Nug Nug still come in stepping foot in that house, I don't care if that it that's disrespect to that new man. That woman disrespectful because yeah, if you done if you a woman and you done and you done lucked up and landed you a solid stepfather type figure, you you damn near you all but you well, what if it's one of these type of guys that say, look, I'm, me and this guy got a good relationship. You know, we can sit down and have a beer. You know, and it's like, man. And that's then, then that's fine. Glory, glory to, I think, glory to that individual. I, I don't, I can't. Depends, if you got small kids, <laughs> I don't know. We we really don't say don't, this 2024, we're telling y'all not to do it. But if you do, you got to think these things through. It's too much thinking to do. It's too much. <laughs> it's just too much. Yeah, blessings and glory to all of the legit, honorable stepfathers out there getting a fair deal. If you ain't getting a fair deal, get the hell out of there now. Shoot. There we go. And shout out to j -Ob. I think we finally got it right. I would call him <laughs> Odd Job. I don't know. That might have to stick, all right? <laughs> it said, Pookie came to hunch. She got caught. Yeah. Man, she, I, you know what? I'm buying that, Odd Job. I'm buying that. Cause man, the way she looked all stale and got all stiff and tensed up, yeah, she on one. So shout out to Michael Mack. Says she planned this. Yeah, this is wild. Mm, she need him to taste it. <laughs> yeah, El Castigador says if he gets the kid on the weekends, why he come over? What I'm saying, man. Mm. That's something that's some you know that guy you if you're a new man you got to consider these things you know he I mean? walked in the house he well time's out he walked in the house they in the bathroom he walked in that house Yo, he, he may have been in there the whole time I don't know if y'all caught early in the interview I seen some of y'all was in the chat when the little baby was like mommy daddy and the baby was screaming daddy early like right early in the interview and he may have been there the whole time and she was talking about him literally the whole time she said, she said, give me a sec. I, I'm on the phone. She went into the bathroom while her baby daddy there. They they at odds. And she went on Kendra in his face. I love it. Y'all keep playing these sick games if y'all want to. <laughs> Man. Shout out to uh, Rondé. Hope I'm saying it correct. Says, the honorable minister said it best. You got a mouth like a snake pit. With no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake Pit. Snake pit mouth. <laughs> and shout out to Mailbox Sports. Come through joining the channel membership. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Appreciate you. Shout out to EJ Uno with the $10. Says he's a bad dad as he's picking him up. He says about to brush his teeth and take him for the weekend. They that part come on now we know nug nug 
Nug Nug is not worried about his kids uh, oral hygiene. He ain't worried about nothing. He said, let me brush my son's teeth before I take him. Kudos to that, brother. You ain't got to be perfect. You just got to be trying. That's it. And these women, they, I'm over it. Soon as, we know what it is. Soon as you become a baby daddy, now, in order for you to get any kudos as a, as a father, you got to be perfect. You got to be still paying bills, all that, just in order for you not to be a deadbeat. <laughs> Otherwise, you's a deadbeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sister here, mm -mm, horrible deal, fellas. Don't even, don't even GTD. Let her be. Let her go find her a woman. Go scissor some timbers. Get you a rose, whatever. But men, don't. Please don't. And Skitty Boy says, "All right, fellas, tinge, tinge in Tennessee or bitter Bonquisha." <laughs> tinge in Tennessee. That sounds like a horror movie. You know what? I'm gonna go with Tinge. I don't she this bitter bone quisha. This is volatile, it's fresh and volatile. It's it's just a no here, you know. It's pending DV. <laughs> that part and shout out to El Paulino. She gifted one channel membership. We appreciate you. And so this interview went on, right? And then, like I said, Kendra was it was a whole deal. And then Zach sort of came on to defend that brother. Because Kendra, they was all doubling down on this brother not being much. And I'm going to pull this up for a second. And we're going to keep the show moving. But I thought this was interesting. This was an interesting exchange between Zach and Kendra. I got to the point where they was disagreeing with each other. And I was like, Zach, you don't want to upset the apple cart. <laughs> yeah. Like Zach and Kendra, it was almost like, you know, you know how Kendra go when she gets like the godfather. She can't have that conversation with men if you ain't just agreeing with her. And it, it started to go sort of left. Mm, and, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So here we go. We're gonna let this go for a minute. All right, so we just had a lady. I saw you saying a lot of things in the I comments. Didn't... What you got to say? You here for daddy? Yeah, I am. I am father's rights leader because you know, I think it's a difference between him needing a stepdaddy and you needing a man, okay? That man was pick, picking up his child. Like she said, he gets them on weekends, he picking them up, and he gotta get disrespected. Just cause the relationship didn't work. That ain't got, obviously he's a dad, he active, he there. He doing that's, his part. That, okay, that's a lot of assumptions. Now that, I think, I mean, granted, said, he came said, in during the live. No, it wasn't an assumption, she said. She said he gets them on the weekends. He said that he's not a good father and she would tell him to his face. But so just because I listen, all I'm saying is this. He could it could have been perfect timing, right? He could have came this weekend. Maybe he ain't been there a couple weekends. Maybe he comes and brings him back the next day, but doesn't give I understand her no money that. So financially. Here's There's the thing, a lot of things. Here's the thing that I don't about. like is like with moms, you think all moms are perfect? I'm pretty sure some bad moms out there, but we don't call them bad. You know what I'm saying? Just showing up and being there. If you're a mom and you got the kid all the time, you automatically call them good moms. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure. Well, yes, I'm, I'm pretty gonna sure. Jump in because if a woman has a child, all now, Kendra, the time, Zach, Kendra, like all Kendra, the time, you get them on the. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure happen. if you ask some dads about their baby mama, they would say they was bad moms. So just taking it from her side and just assuming that he's a bad dad, I can't do that. When I see him getting this. How can I just assume he's a bad dad? Real talk. Hell. Yeah. Kendra, Kendra said what this man's a bad dad simply because Bonquisha said so. No evidence whatsoever. She said, Zach, but she said he was a bad dad. She would have said it to his face, she said. She, she wouldn't have said it if it wasn't true. There's no way Bonquisha would call her baby father uh, not a good dad if it wasn't true. We ain't never encountered such acts. Never. Then I just say the same thing. Kendra going to sit here. What we observe, him picking up his son, him trying to brush his kid's teeth, but Bonquisha won't get out the bathroom. Talking about tell him to brush his teeth somewhere else. But what, what did Kendra assume? Well, maybe he don't pick him up when he's supposed to. Maybe he bring him back late. Maybe. All these maybes. We took what we got from the video. She said he picking him up on the weekends and him there in person picking up his son, showing love and consideration. But but just like I said, if the ninja ain't perfect, if he still ain't paying rent, 
gonna buy her a new car, you know what I'm saying? Then buying her new boyfriend, Jordan's, then he a deadbeat. I'm telling you, you can't satiate some of these sisters. Glory to Zach, but Zach, you tread lightly, brother. <laughs> so here we go, Kendra up here. Execute order 66. Here we go, I'm gonna let this play for another minute. We gonna keep it moving. Well, she's not, it's not an assumption. She told you that it was, you say you don't phone. believe her? But that, I mean, again, that could have, listen, but I don't know. Was alive, I guess what but, I'm trying to say is, that could have been is, perfect he a bad, is he bad in a relationship or is he bad as a father? And sometimes I think the line gets blurred because he may have been terrible in a relationship. Okay. He like, oh, he, he do something that you want him to do that he may not want to do or he doesn't do which happens in relationships, it doesn't mean he's a bad dad. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Because one thing she did say is he don't want to get married. Like I got to do with him being married. a dad. And there you go, Zach. I'm glad you said it. And Kendra's a woman without kids and stuff. She don't understand them dynamics. But like Zach said, a lot of these Bonquishas have a hard time separating the line between a man being a bad dad and not a good mate to you. Y'all didn't work out. Y'all grew it apart. That has nothing to do with that man being a bad father. There you go. Well, it was one contestant up here as of lately. And what she say? She said, she said, should I be looking? I think it was Ashley Dalton. She said, hey, should I be looking for a good man for me or a good stepfather for my son? And my question was, how the heck do you separate the two? How? But she did. She said, well, and here we go. You know, making Zach's point. She like, this, my, the, the, my baby daddy, he don't say shake my cooter cat no more. So he a bad daddy now. Nah. I don't like the ninja. So he ain't worth a dang on no fronts. Shout out to the uh, sisterhood. Shout out to Order 66. They undefeated. So here we go. Shout out to Michael Mack. Says, Blueberry Girl earlier today was amazing. She fit both feet in her mouth and kept right on talking like, like a side show at a carnival. Yeah, if y'all didn't catch the premiere from earlier, that was wild. The Blueberry Beast. I was a little cold on that. <laughs> and shout out to B. Wyatt. Said, Zach said, I don't need your money, Kendra. Huh. Hey. Yeah, that guy's little podcast going. He doing something, you know. I guess he got something going on the side with some people. He doing his thing. So shout out to Zach. Yeah, listen here, Zach. Zach got talent. He got good camera presence. Glory to the brother. May he have Ooh, great success. Zach out of backup dancing and see. That's all right. You got to make a career out of backup dancing. Zach, <laughs> people do that your whole life. Just uh, uh, you know, just sit back there, do your thing. Yeah, yeah. When, then did he start off as a backup dancer? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to Sal Bill with the ten dollars. He says, For the last 40 50 years, daytime media has been planting the seed that men are always wrong and the woman's always right when it comes to relationships. He says, It's a cover for foul female behavior. That's all. And we here to shine a light on it so we can start to correct it. And y'all see the pushback. Why y'all talking about him? Why y'all wig watching? Why y'all wait watching? <laughs> Shout out to Rich High Media. Come through with the 20 ball. He says that man was comfortable and familiar with, this, with that situation. Mm. In my opinion, if he was a bad dad, he would be he would be waiting in the car or by the door. He would not have entered the apartment if he was a bad dad. We need to come get his kids. We yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that part. I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say not entering the house makes him wanna know. He wouldn't have just not came at all. Here we go. The fact that he was entering the house says more about her than him. Let's slow down. Yeah, like, if it's really over, for one, there's so many things to cover with that. For one, if you want a stable relationship with a baby mom and, and try to co-parent, you got to stop You got to stop clapping cheeks. Numero freaking uno. I gave this advice to a good friend of mine. He don't want to listen. 
You got to stop. That's the only way to get her to act stable. You got to gotta get the weenie juice up out of her. You can't keep doing her like that and think she's going to act sane. It's impossible. All right? Can't, can't give her all <laughs> that good meat clashing and expect sanity. But the fact that he walked in that house says something about her. She still likes him. Otherwise, she would be cool, but hey, I'll bring him outside with his book bag, his toothbrush, and his Barney book, and it'd all be cool, but she want him in that house. You hear me? That part. And shout to EJ Uno says her words. He's here to visit his kid. <sighs> he's high. <hyenas. laughs> Michael Max says she didn't lay a glove on Zach. <laughs> <laughs> And Jamisa Walker come back through with the ten dollars. She says most vaginas lie about a BD, and she said I should know. I used to be that. Shout out to Zach and KS the band. Man, shout out to you, Jamisa. There we go. Growth is beautiful and powerful. The sister said, "Look, some of us, listen. Some of us beat hit dogs." Gavin say it best. Here we go. She said, "I've been there, done it." Glory to you, sister. Appreciate your growth. Thank you. There we go. Shout out to I Am Divine for the five dollars. Says you know you know how much bad mothers I see drop off their kids to their parents to their parents' house so they can party, travel. They hardly even around their kids. Mm -hmm. Just like we talked about that Dred Michelle the other night. Dred yeah. Michelle. That her last child, she's pregnant now, but she got another child, maybe you know, eight, nine, ten, who knows? And but she don't take care of the kid, it has like a full time nanny, like like a 24 hour deal going on, like it's with a whole other family. Like, so Bonquisha is too masculine, she is heavily evolving to a man or devolving. So she like Nug Nug ain't watching the kid. I'm a handsome boy too, neither am I, huh? Bonquisha up here is on, she is on a mission to one up her nug nug counterpart. So she ain't watching the baby either. Now it's grandma, nana, and blues clues. <laughs> That's it. So it's horrible. Shout out to Filthy Ramirez. Says Eddie Kang, Zach. Eddie. Uh -huh. <laughs> he did kind of, he got that slender face. <laughs> yeah. Zach will make his way out the band, baby. Zach said, it's Kendra. He says, Zach. And the Kendra G show, baby. Yeah. Ain't nobody here to see you, Kendra. But they <laughs> <laughs> shout out to True Omega Sun. Says, don't over talk Kendra. Wait seven seconds. <laughs> Bull Jav. Shoot. Uh -huh. And BY says, a lady just got life for leaving her baby alone to starve just to go on vacation. I saw that. That made my head hurt, man. She left her baby in a in a playpen. For over her 10 days. Mm. And, that, and that child. Goodness uh. gracious. Shout out to Rachat Media. Says, Gavin mm. next, Mr. Walker. I've been in that situation until my son got older. See, yeah, okay. brother. Yeah. See, telling y'all to head home, baby. We here to shine a light on it. We here for you. Help is on the way. <laughs> there we go. I think that's it. I let this go. I think that was it. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one I will concede. I will concede in this debate I know. and let you have oh, this you one. Now, okay. let's go over to something else. Because I, <laughs> I was busy yesterday. I ain't had time to call your ass. So I saw your ass on Spirit World. It was a spiritual world, Spirit World. One of them damn lies. Shout first of all, oh, shout out to Zach. Um, is, Zach is a lot of things. He is a radio host. He also is on a, um, a podcast with two other people who I adore. Tom Capone and Kiki. And y'all had a conversation about Future and Sierra. Now, me and Tom talked today. Me and Tom, I already debated Tom about this today. I am very tired of this argument that you men try to make when it comes to Future and Russell Wilson. Here's the deal. You can't, if you a dad, can't nobody out dad you, okay? If So Russell Wilson don't have a space to be a better father if you want to be a father. In my case, my parents, I didn't, we didn't live in the same household. They was never married. My mother had other boyfriends throughout her life for me growing up, but couldn't nobody out dad my dad. There was no space for a man to occupy being my father because my father had it on lockdown. So I think this conversation with Russell Wilson being willing to step up to be there for somebody else's child it's really whack 
that y'all just give him props for loving on baby future. Because guess what? Would you rather him have no father figure? Would you rather him be the little boy sitting there with no man showing him love? No, this man should have said, I'm going to love you like I gave birth to you. Future is a sperm donor. Russell Wilson is a father. Now, what the fuck? I talk now. I got, I got you. Um, you can't. Oh, I, oh, I forgot how you no, I do. Let, I forgot how you do. I let you get it you out. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I'm listening to what you're saying, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to be honest. You know, that was our 149th episode of that podcast, and sometimes if you talk long enough, you're going to say some stupid shit. And I got to admit, I that was dumb what I said. Like, you, you talk long enough, you're going to say something stupid. That wasn't what I was trying to say, and in no way, shape, or form was I trying to um take up for future and discredit russell you know what i'm saying but the way that clip is cut it just looks it, it looks bad you know what i'm saying but if i didn't look bad and talk like that we probably wouldn't have went viral so i ain't mad you gotta take the good with the bad right um <laughs> but without who i was trying to defend <laughs> once again was not a future as dad i was trying to defend the fathers who are there and the mothers are pushing the father out because they because the relationship didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Or I was talking about them stepfathers who like to throw it in the father's face, the active father's face, that they with their kid more. And that's why I brought up, I'm like, you really just going home. That's why you actually saw him more. Like I, I see I get my child when I, you know, when I'm supposed to, every time they call, I provide all of that. I was speaking for those people, not the future type of guys. But what we were what we were referring to in that clip was that we were talking about the earlier part of the relationship. See, it, it's hindsight now. We saw mm -hmm. that Russell and C. Ever worked out, but a lot of times those situations don't work out. You introduce people to your kids early, and the kid gets attached, and then when the relationship doesn't work, you know we don't see we don't see this guy no more, and the kid has gotten attached to him. You know what I'm saying? So what I was saying was when I said extraness, what I was referring to was I, I believed and as and i'm speaking as a stepfather who has fought for the dad who didn't do nothing even though i was in the house taking care of everything and you know that Kendra. um i was i was speaking i, I was speaking as and i felt like hey let her let him go, go with her dad i was speaking about in the beginning of the relationship when sierra first started dating russell and she was i felt like she was using russell as to kind of jab back at future and I was saying I wanted Russell to have some backbone and be like, hey, don't post no picture with that man with, with the little boy in, in my jersey. We just started dating. That's a bit much. Let's like, like, come on, you ain't gotta post this. You know what I'm saying? It's got I think it's protocol and it's a way you do things. Now that that is his wife and those are his kids, you know, go right ahead. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like in go ahead. So I'm gonna stop him. Hell! Shout out to my guy, the angry man. I, I see the angry man did a show on this last night. Yeah, he made a post in his comment section, and people was coming after him. He said mm -hmm. it, it was Russell in the picture of little future. And you know, angry man said that Russell is doing that to poke at future. And people's, you know, some people said, nah, he, he what's wrong with him being a stepfather? Why can't he just love the boy and be there for him? So it's a lot of talk, a lot of talk, man. It is. And shout out to the Angry Man. Angry Man made the argument that, you know, Ru Russell is seldomly seen with pictures of his own biological kids. And now what he's saying, so just trying to connect some dots, he like, but it's more than not him taking a picture with another man's son and he got kids of his own. But more, more, most photo ops is him and another man's son. And hey, there's there's a premise there he making some sense and we know the beef we know what it is we're gonna stop it's very low level but it's observable reality a uh, future is is the uh, attractive uh swagged out brother that gets the cheeks for free as he did and rose was the one that got to come pay the highest price we talk about this all the time all the time so yeah russell's only one up on future his only one up in a low level egotistical showdown is flowing his own kid in front of him so yes i agree it's petty and like you say i guess it came out that future say 
he ha he has to go through lawyers just to see his son. So you know, it ain't. I guess he been going to court fighting. People act like he just stand back, but like we said, a lot of times parental alienation and yes, he's still paying her fifteen thousand dollars a month, and he can't see his son. So yeah, that ain't that's, not, picture. that's a lot for me. I gotta stay in the man. That's yeah, a lot. Man. That's a lot, and you you know, with that, I ain't gonna sit here and demonize uh future because look like. It seemed like Future is unbothered by it, but how else is a man supposed to respond? Future can't come up on the internet, you know, showing any kind of emotion or hurt that he can't see his son. It's in his best interest to sit there, be stoic, and just deal with it as he's dealing with it. Because he, that brother, show any emotion, and it's off with his head. So, the burden of a man. Yeah. Especially, like you said, the boy name after your stage name, and that's your prized possession. I'm sorry he love all his kids, but he got kids with just Bonquisha in them. That's your kid with Sierra. That's the prized possession right there. You can't, and you ain't got no, no influence, you know. It's, here we go. Here we go now. Let's be fair. Yeah, Future did it to himself. He he did what he did, and he made his bid. Now he got to lay in it. Don't feel sorry for him. We just call it now the reality of it. That's all. So what's the message? We got to watch where we spreading our seed. Even when we think in the moment, Sierra's this good woman. Clearly, she was a chameleon, and mm -hmm. that's to do better. There you go. That part. And shout out to I Am Divine. He says, remember the lady at Walmart who let her kid in pretty much naked in the winter, and even though she was arrested, the sisterhood defended her anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired of seeing these babies with no coats on in the wintertime. I never understood why my mom and my aunties and stuff would be like, why that kid got no coat on? Now, as a parent, I get it. It's wicked seeing the kid outside, even just getting off the school bus. That's where I see that with no coat on, 32 degrees. Woo, crazy. <laughs> and shout out to Sal Bill. Says, Kendra just made the case for men. No matter what the bio dad will always be the daddy. So what's the incentive to be a stepfather? <sighs> Listen, we talk about this. Being a stepfather does not pay in today's world. Stepmoms are not this. I mean, these single moms are not the same creatures as they was yesteryear. Careful out there. Mm. Shout out to EJ Uno says, pick one. You want your daughter to bring home Russ or future? Easy, Russ. But here's the thing. Yeah, I want my daughter to bring home Russ. But here's here's the thing, like. I don't expect my daughter to be a single mom either, but let's 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 play the game. My she a single mom, bring home Russ or future Russ still. Russ losing this situation, but my daughter win. It's a selfish decision. But if I that's well, that's I'm it. winning. I'm winning. I'm the step. I'm the father in law. I get to get probably get a new house. I get to go to the games yeah. and stuff. All that Russ. vacations. Come Russ on. and Russ is losing more or less uh, statistically. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, what we talked so about. That's ask why the question, we talk I was gonna say, right. if you'd ask the question, would we rather be Russ or Future? That would have been a better question. Future, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, shout out to Davis Lewis Love with the five dollars. Says the study is true if a woman has multiple baby daddies, all their DNA will attach to the brain. Any sperm ejaculated in a woman becomes a part of her. We are, we are, you know, we're organic material. We're organic organisms. So you get injected with organic glaze, and now you got glaze on the brain, and and there it is. That's that science. He glaze brained. <laughs> uh -huh. And shout out to Jamisa Walker. Come back through with the five dollars. Says Kendra is a smooth chameleon. She has to check Zach for those ladybugs. You heard me, Big Dime. Team <laughs> Man Zach. Yeah. Jimmy, so what you know about them them ladybugs, the bed bugs? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> big name of Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> Shout out to Richai. Says, Sierra is in control. Russ and Future's son are just pawns in Sierra's chess match against Future. There is no incentive being a stepfather. There you go. There you go. What do, what do you guys think? Y'all think Sierra and Russell are gonna end this out happily ever after, or no? <laughs> uh, man, I'll let this go for another second. Well, can I? Can I, I hear you. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just want to say this: How 
do you ever think about baby future in this, right? And this is why I said, if you want to be a father, can't nobody out father you if you a father. And that's why I stand on it. My mother and my father were not together, but couldn't no man out father my dad. There was no space to be my dad because my dad held that down 1000%. So now let's just talk about baby future. Uh, listen, we're all making assumptions. None of us are there, but we'll just go off of, we know future has kids and we don't see him often with his children, right? So let's say we have this little baby who doesn't have that father figure. And now your mother is dating this awesome man. And just from the character of Russell Wilson, he's like, yo, I'm going to be there for you. You know, Russell Wilson is a community person. So should a little boy have no man loving going on because his father's not stepping up to the place? Or do we congratulate another man saying, I'm going to make sure you don't feel a lack yeah, of I a don't... male figure in your life because I'm going to I'm gonna do that for you so you don't have to be disappointed. And that's the part that I don't like in this conversation. Y'all always talk about future, the grown-ass man feelings, how he feels when he sees another man playing football. Well, how about you play football with your motherfucking son and another man don't got to play football with your son? Let's talk about the child. It's not fair for the child to lack because the sperm donor, A.E., the actual father, doesn't want to be there. So if another man wants to step up and make sure that that, that boy is loved on, nothing but a thank you or congratulations love that. should and be And I've said. done that. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. You can love on that child as much as you want. And that's what we would prefer. But I didn't, I didn't post my stepdaughter until I had got married. Because because well, and, I, and I, I love you like, because like, and, and, and that was, be, i'm just telling you i'm just telling i don't think you I don't understand know. kendra think... because you're not a man and it's just certain things it's 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 hold on I, it's like I, I, this, I don't mind to cut you off, but I, it seems like we're, we're protecting features the no it's not you feelings. actually hold on when you talk about you're subject, going you're me. talking about the father you actually protecting the child's feelings because what you don't want to do i would never my issue with Russell is he went on that public platform talking about how he knew F F Baby Future was his responsibility. And I would be crushed. I, I love that. What's wrong with that? God, he said, He's God spoke to him, and he was even honest and said that he wasn't even sure, but God spoke to him and said, this I understand is that. It's your responsibility. Nothing. That he got I understand that. that. I understand that. But it's a way to do things. I'm talking about in the beginning of the relationship, I'm talking about it's a code between men in a way that we should this well i still should have respect for the child like i'm not let's say let's say the child's mother was on drugs or something right you're not going to publicly bad mouth the mom because the kid could possibly see that you know what i'm saying and even you can still love on the child and be there for the child without publicly humiliating the the other parent that's all i'm saying it's nothing wrong well, how about, hold on but again how is he publicly humiliating future? He said that God said to him at nine months, he saw he got the message. This is going to be your responsibility. How is this publicly humiliating future? And again, I go back to this. is huh. Hell! Like he said, you're not a man, Kendra. If future is sitting here, because like you said, we can sit here and joke and laugh a lot of times. And I think the mm -hmm. internet sort of uh, creates this. Like I said, you got multiple baby mamas. He loses with a seat. He is nug nuggish, but we cannot throw him in the realm of a deadbeat. And that's yeah. what Kendra's doing. We we can't do that, right? Like like you said, Kendra said, well, my dad was always involved. Well, your dad wasn't no damn rock star either, Kendra. He was working at the plant. He was able to see. So we got to put this in context. Mm -hmm. so, there you go. Well, okay. what did he talk about? Listen, the Godfather said it best. Very simply put, uh, give your father the same understanding as you give your mother and judge your mother just as harshly as you judge your father and we'll get somewhere, but they refuse to do it. Like mom working two jobs, ain't never home. What is she? A martyr, a saint. She sacrificed her life for the family. A father ain't home because he working two jobs or he on the road all the time working as a truck driver. What is he? A deadbeat dad, uh, an absent father. Do y'all not see how that goes? It's 100% of the time. Mom ain't never abs an absentee mother. She's always sacrificing. But the father ain't never. He out having a good time providing. But yeah, come on, man.
Stop. We know it's a double standard, and we're here to try to correct it as best, as best we can. <laughs> so here we go. I ain't going to lie. This is a curveball. We did not plan on covering this. I forgot, but we're here for it now, Kendra. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and shout out to Richai, where we at. Got that one. He says, Mr. Walker, we will find out once Russell's football career comes to an end. Huh. You, the fact that we got to ponder is a problem. <laughs> And Filthy Ramirez been a channel member for two months. Says glaze brain hoodies, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and Sal Bill says Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey married a chick like Sierra. He's funding her and her kids more than his kids. Meanwhile, she's banging chef. She's yeah, banging the chef and the bodyguard. See what I'm saying? Chess locked up. That and this is why. We say it's not a good deal. We, When you listen, this ain't for every woman, but listen, for the majority, y'all see these hyenas. If you engage with these modern hyena single moms, they throw you in a column. They're going to pretty much say and do what they want. They're going to test you regularly because you've already accepted a kid that ain't yours. So you're going to accept a lot more of the stuff, most likely. Again, this ain't for everybody, but it is the majority. Man. Shout out to Divine. I am Divine says, as future child gets older, he's going to ask about his real father, which future proves you could be a great father and still won't get approached. Man, he ain't going to ask nothing. That boy going to grow up. His name is Future. That ain't even Future's real name. You named after your daddy's stage name. Your daddy a rock star and an icon. You growing up in social media era with cell phones. He got to go to school. He's going to know exactly. He's going to embrace it. As he should. Young future gonna be he gonna grow up, he's gonna hit puberty, he gonna like what he like, and he's gonna be like, I need guidance, as every young man is looking for guidance. And he's gonna be like, Am I gonna look to Russell? I know what the media say about him. Or am I gonna look to my biological father, the freaking uh rock star out here? And it's a no brainer. <laughs> might grow up, be a, be a whole rapper, and end up making a diss track about Russell. That'd be That'd be one of the worst black pills of all time. See, and Baby Future yeah, grows up to be a rapper, and his dad and Big Future produces the track. Big Future on the production, and Little Future rapping, dissing Future, calling him a simp and everything. Yeah, boom, shakalaka. No, tell the whole tooth and nothing but the tooth. Yeah, Little Future gonna be up there talking about rapping, talking about yeah, when you would leave, my daddy would call. And him and my mom on the phone for a mighty long time, <laughs> Papa Russ. Like, the black pill is most likely coming. I hope it ain't. But we know how life goes. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Shout out to H. Louise. Says, King Ashyfoot got a wrangle with this bear on a daily. What a lucky guy. A well, too, like you said, him and, him and Kendra don't live together. So he don't. They live like three hours apart. She was saying two hours away, or he live up there you go. upstate. He live up a little where. So yeah. And listen here, if if he had to buy her femininity, he done did it via Rolls Royce. So she 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 feminine to him. <laughs> he paid for it. <laughs> uh-huh. And Racha, he says Kendra is stuck. She has no experience as a mother of a child. Yeah, that's, that's true. Hard. That's true. And Sal Bill says, Kendra's forgetting the part where Sierra was a 304 for every entertaining for 20 years and caught a Hail Mary with Russ. Man, and like you said, there you go. She only got a kid with Future. Like you said, she allegedly done been with Bow Wow, 50 Cent, Omari Stoudemire, and the list goes on and on. There you go. And what's and we, we talk about that real quick. The problem with that, she was with a whole bunch of alpha males. And what does that do? That leaves a woman alpha widowed. What does that do? Leave her with the inability or extremely hard time to pair bond. That's why it's a problem. Man. And shout out to your daddy plug. Says Russ inherited future shadow. He says figuratively Figure. and literally. He says in 10 years when Sierra divorced him, he will get no credit because they don't like BMs anyways. See what I'm saying? Wish this ain't true, man. I hope it ain't true, but y'all saying it. Y'all know what it hmm. is. Shout out to I Am Divine. Says, as Future's child gets older, he's going to ask about his real dad, 
you could be a great stepfather and still won't be appreciated. Stepfathers mm-hmm. get no respect in most cases. Majority. In most cases. In most cases. <laughs> and shout out to Jamisa Walker. Says, Zach is speaking truth with love. No, ang- not anger. I used to be that lady. Men are not the problem. Spread he says, spread the judgment equally. Blessings to you, sister Jim Misa. I'm gonna say we cousins. Yeah, I'm claiming you. We cousins. How you doing, cuz? <laughs> uh, BY says, hit them with the praise break, like the likes are egregious. Oh mm-hmm. man, where the likes at? This um... yeah, we got 255 likes, almost 450 people in here. Come on, y'all. We can do better. <laughs> I'm going to let this go, though, because, like I said, we didn't plan on covering this. We got to get back into it. I'll let it go for another minute. It's, about it's got real regal rumble So how does, how, how does a message from God publicly I guess what humiliate I'm saying the is, How would you feel? I just I can only talk about how I would feel if a if a man if a man went well, if a man went uh, on a podcast and told me, hey, when I first met your son, I'm not going to say my son's name, but he was like, let's say I met I, when I first met your son, I knew he was going to be my your, my responsibility. I'd be like, hold on, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? Your responsibility. You that's, ain't. That's why I'm paused right there. You can't use yourself as an example because you fall in line in the example I'm giving with my dad. Because I know you can't no. no man out father you. Because you being a father to your son is more important to you than anything. And you will change Absolutely. your life around to be a father to your son. So there's no gap for a man to ever say that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. And you know that even with whatever, we don't talk a lot, but we can say this much. I no, no man can outfather you when it comes to your yeah. son. And that's why I go back to the first thing I say. You as a as the father, if you hold down that space, another man can't stand in that space. And you don't have to be married to sierra to hold that space down my parents were not married nor did we live in the same household but you just just saw what you just saw with your last guest and i don't know the the whole extent the the kid right there the daddy right there yeah i need a step daddy and you see what i'm saying like i'm talking about that type of stuff like the the disrespect it's it's, it's like a disrespect for the father because the relationship didn't work and that's what I don't like. I'm not taking up for future. I don't think future's a good dad. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? And I and I respect Russell for what he does. But like I said, like it's just it'd be to me, it just be feeling like a lot of humiliation when it comes to the father when the relationship ain't together, even if the father's trying to get there. Listen, I mean, I this, this could is, be case by case. case, by and, case. I, and I can say it I can't agree with this. I agree with you on the Russell case thing. That's case. why I, I said I started yeah. this off by saying sometimes you talk too much. You know, you get to talking on them podcast <laughs> and you'll say something crazy. <laughs> and I like I do want to clear that up that I don't have any ill intent. I like I don't I don't have no problem with what Russell Wilson is doing whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of real fathers out here. Okay. And there we go. And my problem with Kendra with this, she keep wanting to compare this. We got to stop being so anecdotal. And that'd be my mm-hmm. message to people a lot of times because, you know, you can't prove your point by giving your experience. That's no way to try to prove your point. Like Kendra Sanders said, well, my dad don't would have never. Kendra, if your mom would have married a guy of Futures Caliber and moved her across the country, your daddy would have never seen you. Barely. He'd have been non-custodial. And that just would have been what it was. And we got to understand these things. There you go. Context is so key when giving these examples. Like Gav said, especially when they're anecdotal. Give the context so we can see and taste and smell it. Don't just leave, say it all vague and make it seem like it's a norm. Given the circumstances, the situation, it all will make sense. Yeah. It's, stop. Stop comparing so much. Man. So that was that. All right. <laughs> we didn't plan on doing it, but we did it. That was a good little clip there. So there we go. Child of Pharaoh's Kingdom says 10 years when the Steelers contract in is over. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. uh, welcome to Pittsburgh. <laughs> and shout out to Don, come through $10. Says this troll in the chat with them worn dreads. Says men jealous of Russell for cuffing Atlanta trash, which is my city. A bad deal is a bad deal. 
Yeah, ain't ain't no jealous at all. Yeah, I seen I seen the chat. Yeah, she said men hating because Russell a good dad. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's that's not it at all. Men, unlike the sisterhood, men talk amongst one another. Russell amongst other men, including his teammates, even his teammates didn't respect him because men recognize real. And we know what we know, and ain't no ain't nothing else to say about it. <laughs> that part. And shout out Sal Bill says women ask for other men to out fathers the baby daddy all the time. Am I hearing things? Hmm. They do. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> and shout out to Ash Rogers. We appreciate you, brother. He says, realistically, no stepdad can outfather the biological father because that's not his seed. Yeah, boom, There you go. Like we said, Russell don't stand a chance. Future gonna win this battle. <laughs> he gonna win the war. He losing the battle. He gonna win the war. <laughs> there you go. And shout out to Jamisa Walker. Come back through. She says, Mister Walker, cousin. She says, single by choices. Keep the knowledge from the man's view alive. R.I.P. to the Godfather. And shout out to Theo Coop. Yeah. Shout out to the general, Theo Coop. Appreciate you, cousin Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, sister. So there you go. Um, we're gonna keep it moving. All right, we're back into the show. We got we still have $40 skips. Shout out to the sponsors, um, Rachai Media, Rashad, and I am Divine. <laughs> there you go, Don Jeter. I guess Boyce Watkins, we jealous of him too. Let me tell you, boys, boys to me, <laughs> the the example or the cautionary tale of boys Watkins is going to go down in history. Like I'm this. That is boys Watkins situation is like it's like a it's like a triple lot buck of black pills. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't like I don't even know how to say it. Like he literally married a woman that told him to wait till she had kids by other <laughs> other. Big strong boys, and then I come back to you when I'm all withered up, <laughs> so you can mm -hmm. marry me, man. God. So that part, don't be like boys. All right, where we at? We gonna bring this. <laughs> oh boy, Monty. there we go. So, look, we like they might be big breast sisters. Trina, Detroit, <laughs> how old are you? Fifty. Fifty, okay. Fifty. What you do for a living, Mama? Um, I asked. You work for the city. I'm an inspector. Inspector. Okay. Um, you have any children? I do. 28, 29. I'm sorry. 29, 30, and 31. Three. How many kids do you how many three yeah. kids? How old are they? 20, 29, 30, and 31. 21? 29, 30, 31. 20, wait, 28, 29, 31. No, 29, 30, and 31. Got you. Um, all about the same man? No, three different. Three men. Have you ever been married? What? Twice. Twice. When did you get divorced last? Ooh, ooh about 10 years ago. What? Okay. Hold on, man. <laughs> She got nope. 29, 30, 31. Yep. That, she stared step that Kuda Kata. We ain't never seen this. Ooh. Got back every year, 29, 30, 31, three different men. She literally had a kid with three different men and three years in a row. That's crazy. Yeah. Boom, Takalaka. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot that's so nasty that's so funky every year every year that's that's raw literally and figuratively it's just raw everything raw she was hunching raw everything was just just <laughs> i don't know what to say that's the nastiest thing i've heard Every year, she showed up to that hospital, probably same hospital with a new dude. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Like them, them, them nurses in there, like, "Oh, you back? 
what I'm gonna call Miss Jones. You back, Miss Jones? Oh, oh, a new father. That's nice. The third, third time's the charm, huh? <laughs> yeah, and what's the chances? What's the chances? Because this can get real dark. This can be like some three card Monty type box. Like, for you to have three kids by three men in three years in a row, Ooh, there, there's Gavin. a chance that, Gavin, stop. You know, that we can have <laughs> mismatched paternities to where one father can be fathering a child that's not his and it's the other dude's kid, or to where one of the dudes could be the father of all three children. Or, like you said, it could be so many stop. varieties. It's like, Please stop. Please this stop. is wild. Please so. stop. Three card, she three card Monty her kudakata. She yeah. like, hold up, wait, which baby? All right, this baby yours. Wait a minute, no, this one yours, that one yours, and this one yours. I think y'all look alike. Y'all both cross eyed. They playing that game. You got the same nose, so maybe this one yours. When did last time you beat? When last time you beat? I don't know. <laughs> this is wild. Here we go. Shout out to Racha. Says shout out to all the fathers and single by choices. Chat, Gavin next, Mr. Walker. There are some real fathers and men in this chat. Dag on right. Dag on right. <laughs> Duh. Yes, sir. Richai and EJ. He says three for three and three. Huh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, I told you, we've seen still steps Kuda Cottage. It's not like this. We have seen like two years or one. Like, you know what I mean? We not like this. Now, I, I want one of y'all detracting sisters in the chat. Stay stay around. Justify her actions right now. I want to hear it. I want to hear she was young. I want to hear she was dumb. I want to hear they lied to her. Give me something. One so of y'all. So she's 50. So <laughs> she had a kid at 19, 20, and 21. 19, 20, and 21. All right. She gave it up. Y'all know she was feeling herself. It's a shame, man. These here's an the issue. These single moms really need to talk to their daughters about their sexuality. We know talking to your daughters about their sexuality is taboo in the urban community, and it need not be. So they just be out here experiment with their raw meats and be and be surprised when the baby pops out. Yeah, this woman here, she coming off like a a modest, wholesome grandma. But if we had the hot tub time machine. And we threw her in there, and we go back 30 years with this woman. Y'all already know. They need to eat me out. Hi. I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? Why the niggas ain't getting red Huh? My son need a new pair of ears. Too many bitches. Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Huh? Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Yeah. You know the jazz is too bad. Yeah. I like the nigga with his cat. Yeah. Yes, that was her. That was her. But however, now she at the front in the front pew of the church with her big hat on that you can't see past catching the spirit. Won't he do it? <laughs> and Richard Media says that box did not have time to breathe. Man. <sighs> and uh Kim Netter. I hope I'm saying that right. I always stumble with this one. <laughs> I think that sounds so, right. Kim Neater says she's a super saiyan stair stepper. Yes. Big Undefeated. step. And the big step. <laughs> uh, IVS says, have you ever seen Ernest scared stupid? <laughs> I've seen a lot of the Ernest. I don't know if I've seen. Oh, Ernest. I don't know. Is that a real one of his movies? <laughs> Ernest scared stupid. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom. Says, man, she was trying to beat her biological clock. No, she was trying to get her cheeks beat, and she d and did. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Says it's not three men; it's more like seven men. Yeah, in the beginning, she done since windled it down. All right, yeah. mm, roll hard, put away most wet. This is her. All right, and then there was three. I right, start off at seven, and then there was three folks. Uh. Shout out to your daddy plug. Says a hood holy trinity. Typo, the hood unholy trinity. <laughs> Shout out to CC Speaks. How you feeling tonight, sister? Appreciate you, sister. And Michael Max says, is this three-card Monty like Irish triplets? Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's so nasty. 
That's, y'all don't understand. Y'all really don't. <laughs> and Richard Media says, here we go. Is she looking for Russell Wilson or a future? Ladies and respond. Ah, man, there you go. <laughs> they don't want to answer. They don't want no smoke. <laughs> and Ferrell's Kingdom says, first time is a mistake. Uh, two, three more means it was planned. Mm-hmm. She was horny. <laughs> and CC Speaks says, eyebrows are gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're gone. And EJ Uno says, the second she asked for 70K, skip, and I'll send the super chat. She <laughs> bet not. She ain't going to do that. Is she? So here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Okay. Was you married to two of their dads? Um. Yes, my daughter's father was my friend. Was you married to another one of the fathers? No. Okay. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. So we got Trina and Detroit, correct? Yes, ma'am. Trina, Detroit, mom of three kids, by three men, married twice. She's an inspector, 50 years old, Virgo. What kind of man are you looking for, baby? Um, just someone that's kind, loyal, um, funny, and um, caring. That's pretty much it. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, small kids, bad teeth. I don't want to say it, but like short. How tall? Shorter How than you. I'm five nine. And what would be short to you? I'll just say maybe five ten, ten and up. You know, for me. Okay. Because I like heels also. Of course, that makes me a little taller. Okay. So, so you want somebody, you'll do somebody, um, so you'll do somebody that's your height or taller? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, okay. So what about, oh, well, we already kind of got to it. Does he have to look a certain way? So you want him to be a certain height? Yes, I want him to be a certain height, have good teeth. Um, Beard is nice, but you don't have to, but I like beard. Um, she 50. Just good hygiene, dress nice, smell good. That's okay. pretty much it. What about money? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, about 50 or 60,000 is fine. 50, 60K. Okay. Should he be in Detroit? He doesn't have to be, no. No, okay. But Let's it, do the Kendrick. Say, say again. In the U.S., please. Okay, you gotta be in the U.S. of A. Yes, ma'am. EJ. He was ten k off though. Okay. 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 No, no. <laughs> now this is Grandma. She up here looking for fifty k. Are we out of pocket? Is this the first time? We've ever been able to bring Mr. Forty out and it can make some sense, people. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka. What age is Mr. 40K? Cause she half a hundo. Hell, it's about the same. A little older, maybe. Okay, there we go. Now we talking. All her kids is gone. She three for three. That she is. But that was that was over what? That was at least 25 years ago. All right. Mr. Forty Iris. <sighs> Yeah, there's a guy for. Wait, she said, wait, hold up. She said she wanted a guy that's tall, good teeth assist. She out, she's still on one now. She on one. I don't know if she's gonna respect Mr. Forty Hours. Yeah, she she wanna look her. They all these women want to look her. Yeah, y'all have become such handsome boys. Y'all want a man that looks good. That's so weird for real. It is. So this big auntie. I'm gonna let her go. We're going to drop her down a half off shorty. Here we go, folks. She jiggle that old booty and them old biscuits. <laughs> she got that booty, child. I get it from my mama. She get it from, <laughs> from my mama. Okay. Uh, Trina, when was your last relationship? Mm, about two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Nah, I'm not going to answer. Okay. Nasty. Three calls you have to work on. Um, trust. I have trust issues. Um, I, 
um, I guess I give up like really easy. Like I get over things real fast. Like if I feel like I'm being, I just I'm, I overthink. Maybe that's the best for it. I'm a uh, overthinker, like very bad. Um, and also I probably can smile more. I have Aww. like I have the resting, you know, face. Yeah, the rusty <laughs> B face. Yes. I didn't and get that from you. You seem jolly all, in this interview. All my life, I've been getting that. So as I got older, I try to feel it. You know, you can feel it. So I try to get better now that I'm older. So I'm a little better with it, but I can change that. That's for sure. You can change that. That's for sure. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm loyal. I love to cook. Um, I like, I love to treat my man special, you know, um, um, faithful and I'm just, you know, like a down, you know, I'm, I'm just down for him. Long as, you know, I just want, I actually just want to meet for me, you know, like I want somebody good to me cause I'm, I'm, t I tend to be sometimes I think over good, but, um, I guess I just got to be who I am. I want to change so bad, but I, I only can be me. What do you so real quick. My thing is this. Can a woman have her kudakata expunge? Because this woman is three for three. If we was talking to her 25-year-old self, 30, we would be much more critical. And we back here at 50 now. Is this what it looked like? A three for three shawty when she's 50? Do we let off? Do we give grace? Or, I mean, how can, how can her chances increase at this age? I don't know. Yeah, because, hey, people saying, like, here's the thing. People in the chat saying, you know, she could probably get what she won't. Here's the th thing. So as far as expunging the kuda kata, I want to say not so much that, you know, not so much that. But she came up here. She wasn't brutish. This 50-year-old woman, she came up here, and she ain't acting all ratchet and raunchy. And that goes a long way. She three for the three. But like I said, it's been 25 years. What's the, what is she looking for? Just a man that's going to work, bring home 50K. And at this age, 50 years and up, come on now. We do expect our men to be at least making 50K. Let's keep it a buck now. So she ain't asking for too much. Goodwill hunting, I don't know. And she wasn't uh, completely blowed out. So like you said, y'all seen them cheeks? Probably, Grandma has some cheeks that. on her. So, see, look for old fifty-year-old uh, silver fox. It'd be a good time back there. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> there you go. You have older brother. You about fifty-eight. You're approaching retirement. I don't know. This there you is, go. I don't know. Companion. She she's there. You go. There you go. She is prime for companionship under under the law and a subsection of companionship. Bonquisha's kudakata can be expunged under certain particular circumstances. And this just might be one. This may be a first. Huh? <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, all right, fellas, Kendra's forehead or hers? <laughs> <laughs> Kendra up there doing her thing tonight. Y'all see Kendra up there glowing? <laughs> uh, Kendra's got a man. <laughs> and Frederick Howard says, let's do it. Knock three times to Wanda or three hitter quitter quita. Ooh, yeah, three hitter quitter quita. Shoot, yeah, she this 50 year old woman up here making a strong case. This is amazing. Single by choices first. <laughs> <laughs> a shout out to Rob, come through. Says these women be ordering men off the dollar menu. Let me get three for six with nice teeth and a beard. Toss in some charm on the side. See, and there you go. She got the superficial. There, uh, 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 that's a problem. She got the superficial, you know, expectations, beard and height. That's the only thing she need to let them go. It don't matter how tall he is. He could be a, a small person. He could he could have alopecia all over. He got no hair. Straight naked mm. mole rat. Stop. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photos. Says now that football head, hey Arnold, looking self. <laughs> Shout out to hey Arnold. Hey Arnold got the dopest room a kid has ever had. <laughs> uh -huh. And Project Leroy says, Good evening, fellas. 
He says, just finished hosting an all-day seminar and filling out my Bonquisha March Madness brackets, choosing a Cinderella Bonquisha story. Yeah! There you go. Appreciate your project, Leroy. <laughs> A shout out to Terry Shed says, not my type. She reminds me of the witch doctor from Zaka Zulu. No. Nah. From Shaka. Yeah, she do got that. She do got that look. She really do. It's unfortunate. But she got a twagging. And see, listen again. Take notes. Do you not see this woman 50? Three for three. She stood up and she won exactly blowed out and Grace and Mercy pursued. <laughs> mm. And Sal Bill says, rare catch or release granny? Yeah. Rare catch or release rare granny? Catch. Oh, no. Ooh. Huh? No catch or release? What we? <laughs> I think she done. We about to get on with the show. It's big band. You know what? We got to come to our senses. No. no. I got, got me right. cold. I, I'm feeling. Listen. <laughs> I'm feeling the catch and release. Catch release. Yeah. No, maybe eject yeah. her to out of space. Let her figure it out. Yeah, she's still three for three. She stair stepped that Kuda Kata. We can't forget that. She really, she really did. It's and we got six men now. You see what I'm saying? We, you yeah, she really. Guys, they might still yeah. be orbiting somewhere, man. That's yeah. We got it. We got it. Listen, yeah, we got to get our emotions. We do. We got emotional there. No, we can't. She. She stair stepped her coup de in the most heinous way. Three <laughs> men, three different years. We we really gotta, we gotta, man, we gotta stand strong. Yeah, she need to go ahead and breathe in some of that good old space, Aaron. Figure it out. I agree. Excuse my ill manners. Here we go. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. Mm. Hey. I know my man Red Pill Raiders gonna lose his mind if we were to catch and release her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she got she got it, she gotta go. That's I'm tripping. And whoever said that in the chat, you tripping too. But I feel you, I got emotional too. I she would see that. Please, ladies and gentlemen, nug nugs and bone creatures, please take note. She that woman came up here, she stair stepped her cuda kata in a way we never seen. And the fact that she came up here not heinously ratchet. And had a booty for old for old gatekeeper, she was getting way too much understanding. But you see the power of it. So there we go. We're gonna keep it moving. We got a cash out. Shout out to Jamisa Walker. She come through with a 50 ball in the cash app. She says, My husband says thank you. Our daughters will hear you. That is it. Tell him, tell him, cousin Walker said, We here for you. We shall stay on task and we're gonna do our job. That's too dope, man. That's too dope. Glory, respect to your husband and your family. That's too dope. I'm hyped now. Here we go. <laughs> thank y'all. Oh, thank you. Yay, thank you. Yay, thank you. I'm telling you, you got to tell my dad, I can go to work happy today. You hear me? I can go to work happy today. Nah. Huh? <laughs> Shout out to the Walkers. Appreciate y'all. There you go. Appreciate you, Jamisa. You are one of the show sponsors. Right now, y'all see that. We had $100 match play early in the show. We got a couple match plays tonight. because I know My goodness. So. <laughs> <laughs> we match playing early. Hit the like button. Here Make we go. sure we caught up. All right, here we go. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. How old are you again? I'm 48. Okay. Hey. You look good for 48. I want to start 48. Thank you. This is no makeup, at girl. Thank you. Okay. okay <laughs> Rena, what do you do for a living, mama? Well, I'm a nurse and um, different specialties. Right now, I'm focusing on dialysis, apheresis, and peritoneal. Okay. Okay. Do you have any children? I have one son. One son? How old is your son? He's 25. 25. What you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Oh, you told me that. That's my fault. It's 
What's your your son's okay. twenty five? Have you ever been married? Have you ever been married? Never married. Okay. What's your zodiac sign, Trina? I'm a Cancer. Cancer. So we got mm. Trina Houston, forty eight, Cancer, a nurse, um, and a specialist. One son that's twenty five. All right, boo. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm just looking for a good man that's not about the games, you know, know exactly um, what their intentions are and not all about lying and, you know, doing all kind of craziness. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, lying, cheating, and um, just foul, just foul behavior, hoish behavior. I don't have time for that. Hoish behavior, no. Polish behavior. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, tall, dark, and handsome. Like slim mm -hmm. fine. I like slim fine. Don't don't be all over the place. You slim fine, Trina. I'm fine. I think I'm kind of slim. Girl, I, I ran track. I played volleyball. You know what I'm saying? Scholarships all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. Stop the cap. Man, she, that was a terrible. Can't you say, are you fit? She started talking about I ran volleyball and track. This woman is 50 <laughs> years old. You're talking about something damn near 30 years ago. I Back in college, I had scholarship. Yeah, I had scholarship, Kendra. I volleyball and track. Eyes, eyes was in shape. That's the dumb. Listen here, that's 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 dumb. Use your common sense. Talk about what you used to do. Stop. I used to run track. That's how you know she blowed out. I'm calling it. Maybe she ain't. Maybe she just got a pie face and a BBL. Who knows? But the fact that she gonna say and reminisce thirty years ago, I ran track. I played basketball. I did hopscotch. So. I mean, I at least used to be <laughs> slim thick. Don't ever call no, 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 not slim thick. Don't ever call no man slim nothing. Stop calling dudes slim. Stop calling dudes thick. Stop calling dudes cute. Stop it. <laughs> but a little more thicker than I used to be. Okay, thicker. so the man can be thick? Yeah. Mm. Slim fine. Slim fine. Okay. Man gotta be slim fine. We'll get to the kids or kids soon. What is he gotta make a certain amount of money? Mm, at least make as much as me or more than me. So what's that minimum? Minimum a hundred K a year. Minimum a hundred K a year. Mm -hmm. Then okay. So we got Trina Houston, 48, nurse specialist, one son, that's 25. And she wants a man slim fine, tall, dark, and handsome. Let's do the Kendrick can. Oh, let me take this out. I got girl, it's kind of chilly out here, so I have to put my little here. sweater on. Hold on. So what? Stand okay. up. Jazz, and we're gonna try you, Dallas. All right, that was doing? on me. I mean, hold on. Yeah, dang, Bon Quisha. Tell Hold you on. what. Yeah, I still saw what I saw it, <laughs> and it wasn't slim thick. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, you, you got you got body, Trina. She got hips. She got a oh, look at that booty. That's Girl, a beat. I, I be, I be up in here working. Out, Kendra, what you mean? Uh, when you start getting close, Ooh, you, you got you got body, Trina. We gotta stop. We gotta stop this. We gotta. Yeah, we stop are, that. huh? Hell. <laughs> we we gotta stop. We gotta 50, stop she this. Fifty. She fifty. She want a hundred k man. Hundred k. Huh? Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. I see. I'm nicer than y'all like to think. I hate to pin BBLs on folks if it's not. And I know our melanated sisters can be built brazy by default. How the freak ever? However, 
Like, I mean, that thing sitting up there and them hips is all wide. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, ask her. There you go. That need to, It's unfortunate, but that need to be one of Kendra's questions to get to. But hey, no offense, the body is bodying. Or do you have a BBL, sister? <laughs> that need to be a real question because it's a real question. Man, here we go. But you got to say, oh, look at that booty. Girl, I, I be up in here working out, Kendra, what you mean? Uh, when you start getting close to 50, girl, you got to get your body like you want it before you cross that border. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I you crossed it already. Definitely. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, everyone in this 100K, child, and, and this is not saying that you will not have this. Have you ever dated a man that dated that amount of money? That made that amount of money? That what? Have you ever dated that a man didn't make that, that amount? No, no. Have you? Do you normally date men that make a hundred k or more? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Back in the day, it didn't matter that much because I wasn't making that much. Okay, but now you do date men that make the same amount as you, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So what's up with those guys? Okay, I've been having to just curve them, curve them straight to the left because I just had to, like, two of them just recently. One of them was playing in my face. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be playing in my face. You sitting up there, you you talking to this, that, and the third, and then you coming to me and saying you're done with this situation, but I'm finding out that you hadn't. So, okay, don't play in my well, face. So now I gotta just what? Wait, wait, you find out what? That he still, he still... Rocking with old girl, you know, it's like, but I ain't, I'm not in no competition thing, but you telling me that it's just me and just me and that's it. But that's not what, that's not what I got. So How I had to curb him. Was he, was he, were you guys in a relationship or a situationship? It, it was, it was the beginning of what had, didn't develop because but, he was still I dipping and dabbing. It's, it's, it's a, it's a clear question. Was he, were y'all in a committed relationship? He wanted commitment, but I didn't see it. So, one more time. Because he still want, he still want to play. He still want to play. Okay, let me ask the question one more time. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. Maybe I heard it's a confusion. You. So I heard you it's fully. A, it's a yes or no answer. I wasn't trying to be committed to somebody that couldn't be. It's time. I didn't hear you know, or lie if y'all wasn't in a relationship. He wanted to be in a relationship with me. But okay, but, but, you're, but still, you're, you're he, he still you had he still had he still hadn't resolved his previous whatevers. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're not so in the relationship. The lies. The lies. That's that's where the lies came in. So he, he had another girl, but he was trying to be in a relationship with you. Yes. yes. So one more time, let me ask this question. I I, I maybe I'm not asking the questions clear enough. <laughs> Have you ever been in a relationship with a man that makes hundred k? Yes. And this is the guy we're talking about? No. So what happened to that guy? That just fizzled out and it's like he started moving different. Okay. So is that a, is that a, a requirement if the man made like if the man made 70,000 that would be too low? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on what he do with his 70K. Okay, so 70K, you're not out of consideration, but we have to know more details. Mm. What's the plan? I work hard. I, I work hard for my money. I appreciate a man that does the same. Yeah, okay. With no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. Huh. So mm -hmm. for Granny, up here lying and pump faking. Yeah, we were sorted together. He wanted me, but I had been took my ball and went home and he wanted to keep playing, but I was gone. Yeah, I was tired. It ain't it ain't that I was crying moping over him. No, he was moping over me. Yeah, he was playing and joking. Yeah, let's stop it. Stop. We talk about this. We talk about it. Standards are for simps. Women like this, especially in her situation. <laughs> In her sexual marketplace situation, the dude that crossed her path that she likes is over. There's no standards. 
that ninja can see her at Whole Foods and be beaten by 9 p.m. That's a fact. That is just a fact. So she need to stop. She came across some dude that she liked it, did, and it was over. She didn't care what his situation was. She thought her cooter cat could win them over. Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, Bone Quisha. They be betting on their cooter cat. Shout out to our brother Ellis. You betting on your cooter cat and you lose every time. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and shout out to Richai Media says Kendra got me triggered with that convo with Zach. None of these contestants are safe from this point. Okay. Ooh, get him, Richai. Richai. <laughs> and Sal Bill says blowed out BBL detected, front fupa rejected. Rap tighter than the mummy. <laughs> Ray come through the five dollars. Says the national debt should be able to be paid off simply off the women on the Kendra G show. Mm-hmm. And shout out to my guy, Medium Man. He was over there. I caught one of his replays yesterday. He was doing the stats. He was going over this 100K, you know, black women in the U.S. <laughs> Y'all don't even get it, man. What was the number? It was something low, man. What, like 4%, 7%? Like, it's laughable to think every one of these women make 100K. Well, all that, the whole 4% is on Kendra. Use your common sense, Mr. Gavin. Shoot. And then, and then a lot of times, a lot of us be off base where we just talk about Bonquisha's W-2 income. And Bonquisha said, that's where y'all got it messed up. I make my, most of my money off the books from simps, you know, giving me bread, mm. child support, mm. you know, government, the, the government ah, stimulus God. package. There we so go. it'd be hoodoo. A lot of times we think when they say that, we directly think like they make a salary or they making that at a job. Exactly. You know, she playing that game that three card Monty again. So. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, Bonquisha got a lot of tricks. Yeah, Bonquisha gonna say 100k, and that could be from seven different sources of income. And and seven of them sources is five beta orbiters trying to get nasty cheeks. <laughs> and like I said, most of it is off the books, and none of it taxable, if you will. So beautiful. Uh, do your thing, but it's who do call it what it is. Y'all, y'all out here, y'all out here auctioning off y'all cuda cata. That's what it is. And that's at best. I call cap most of the time. That's just at best. It's mostly cap. <laughs> so there you go. Shout out to Jamisa. She says, please stop. Yeah, this one here. <sighs> Terrible. Be wise says, stop lying. Farrakhan drop. Yeah, she, she up here lying, man. We're gonna let her go. She ain't done. She hunted match play for a reason. So <laughs> Sal Bill says, side piece can't demand much. She's 50 going on 16. Man, she 50 acting like this. Hmm. Divine Photo says, you dating 100K men, but why aren't they lining up to marry you? Which only means they only want, they don't want age out women. Schizophrenia is alive and well over here. Mm, better keep going. Pretty sure she's going to give us more. Yeah, the most, uh, shout out to the women from the Regal Rumble. They say differently. This age out Kuda Kata, they can they gonna get something. So they can get they can get bust down for the one time. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. that's it. Shout out to Cole Sounds with the twenty dollar super chat. Says y'all cooking something for the plate at the restaurant. Yeah, boom shakalaka. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. So here we go, cook sister. Everybody wants this man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. What was your last relationship, Trina? Um, I would say about five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? <laughs> that question always. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. But I can answer it. It really doesn't matter. It's been three years. Okay. Are you waiting for, are you on a celibacy journey or are you just waiting to be in a relationship again? I'm not trying to be celibate. That's just where it has ended up. Okay. Okay. Because the men aren't coming correct for a relationship. They are, the ones that I've came across, they are whack. They are whack. They they had me stay in the house Sunday because Saturday, now I'm going to just tell you real quick. I'm, um... I'm at this little spot. It's really nice. And I'm dancing with this guy and he's feeling all over me and stuff. And I'm trying to put his hands where they are supposed to be at, you know what I'm saying? Above my waist and stuff. 
So this fool gonna take my hand and put my finger in his mouth. I almost punched him in the damn face. Do you understand me? I almost punched that fool in the face. That really whoo, pissed me off. This? This is the guy that really pissed dating? me off. I, I, can I can receive that. So this happened this past Saturday? Yes. Yes. So this is this a random guy you were dating or you just happened to meet? No, just met him at this this little spot, real live, you know, nice live band. Everything was okay. like grown and sexy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the audacity. That's why I was like, man, I, let me go sit my butt in the house for a few days because this, this is too much. This is too much. Hell! So let's stop it. We always say this. Where's the number one place Bon Creature going to meet a man? In the bar, in the club. Like, y'all got to stop. You ain't going to meet your husband in the club. I don't know what the stats are. Medium man, I don't know if they exist. What percentage of women are meeting their husbands in the bar and clubs? Here, listen. Why, Mr. X? Why can't you meet your husband or wife at the club? I want all y'all to stop acting like y'all got common sense. Think back, way back, because we know y'all much more too mature to be clubbing nowadays. So think way back. Every time man and woman stop y'all jive. When y'all went out to the club, what well, was only one thing on your mind, and it wasn't marriage, ninjas, huh? So everybody going to the club got the same intention, man, woman, dog, frog, all y'all, and that's to get lucky, hook up, have the best time you could possibly have, have some drinks, and get some, some meat clashing going on. And she's 50, so she's been doing it too long. Like, there's no excuse for a 50-year-old oh woman up here complaining about men in the bar. Like, stop the cap. That's it's only one reason you go into the club and bar, and it ain't to find your wife or your husband, it's to find some good old random cheeks. How you doing, random cheeks? Let me put my finger in your mouth. <laughs> Man. And shout out to Lala with the $10 super chat. We appreciate you, sister. She says, I'm tired of seeing all these blowed out face head women tonight with high standards. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bless you, sister. Out. Call him out. <laughs> now, here we go. Go ahead, Bonquisha. <laughs> and then he thought he was gonna walk me to my car. No, bro. No, you you can you can go. You can go on ahead. And he's like, I'm I'm gonna see you again. I'm like, Lord, please no, please no. Oh. Okay, okay. Now I could agree. That's a little too much. Putting my finger in your mouth, like what in the hell? Um. So yeah. you live? Oh, you live in Houston. So you feel like the men in Houston? Aren't rising to the occasion. Not at all. Not at all. Not, at least the okay. ones I'm coming across. No. And that's that's really what it always comes down to, child. And you know the men that you're attracted. Y'all know I y'all know I believe in the law of attraction more than anything in life. So that's what. It, and all you could do. And the reason I believe in law of attraction because it actually gives you the power. Because as you make changes, you attract different um, types of people. But I don't know. You have a lot of. I'm assuming you got. You, you're very straightforward and vocal. So I believe you will say what's on your mind. I don't hesitate. Do you have, do you have any men friends that good. tell you about men like that and what they desire? I mainly talk to family. Like I got a cousin. We're like we're like this close. So he, and my brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What does he say? So. What advice does he give you? <laughs> He told me stop going to bars and stop hanging out at um, you know, live band spots. But I don't go to clubs or whatever. But he say stop going there. He say go to Home Depot, and then what else he said? Um, just just hmm. little happy hour places where guys they pop their head in and then they pop their head out like they're not really just there. Just to you know, they just trying to see what they can see or whatever, and then go home. That's actually really good advice. Oh. Yeah. We just said it. Stay out the bars, the clubs. And like Mr. Walker say, you know, it's jokingly sometimes, but it's true. Bars and Noble, some of these places. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Like her brother told her, Home Depot. Like, quit playing. There you, ball. Go. you in the bar. Don't come to me complaining about these men you meet. There you go. Yeah, me and Mr. Me and Mr. X being novice general contractors that we are, licensed nonetheless. Yeah, Home Depot. There you go. There you go, sis. I never thought about that. You want you a man that can fix your leaking roof and change your smoke detector? 
guess where you gonna find that ninja? He definitely at Home Depot. Probably ain't single. <laughs> I was about to hit on that. I was yeah, about to hey, hit on that. Hey, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, every listen here. Dang, they all yes, he got a rotation. So there, there you go. Yeah, but the the man they looking for this at Home Depot. He usually there with his wife, and she holding on to his arm mighty tight. <laughs> but there you go. But like you said, even if he ain't with his wife, a lot of times he in a relationship, married. But mm -hmm. like I said, single with a rot. If that guy's single and he got other women, this is where these women don't want to compete. They're like, I want the guy of my yeah. dream to be single with no prospects, and he waiting on me. And it's like, <laughs> listen, yeah, this woman fifty years old. Like, we can give her tips on what Barnes and Noble. She's still 50. Like, it's really over because she in there 50 looking for a dude. And it's a, it's a sister in there that's getting the same message. She 25, 24, looking for the same guy. Guess what, 50-year-old woman? You are disqualified that quick. <laughs> and I see some of y'all in the chat talking about lower her standards. We didn't even hit on that. You looking for Mr. Six Figures, Mr. Mm -hmm. High Value, mm -hmm. walk around Home Depot that's mm -hmm. looking for a 50-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. We got to stop. <laughs> they don't get it. You don't get it. These women don't understand how sisters like this say with their mouth that they refuse to compete. But there's some young sisters out there that's there to compete and they will elbow you out the way. Like, move you, 50 year old woman. Your cooter could have barely worked. Move out the way. That's my man. That's what I'm trying to tell. That's why they say they won't compete. You can't fire me. I quit. You can't tell me I don't make the team. I ain't going to try out. <laughs> Man, here we go. And I think that all women, this is why I say that y'all need to get y'all either some married mentors, relationship mentors, and definitely men who y'all say y'all want to date mentors because actually that's really good advice and I understand what he's saying. Home Depot, that's where a lot of men be at, right? So mm -hmm. and these are men that like to use their hand. These are men who don't mind putting stuff together. So that would be a, a definitely a good suggestion and then happy hours yeah like these are men particularly with jobs want to unwind real quick in the daytime that was mm -hmm. some good advice I'm, I'm happy i'm happy so take that advice yeah yeah take that, that was my cousin he yeah. i'm his matron of honor next month in his wedding so i'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm probably gonna be like this i am be like this here at the wedding kid. <laughs> In all sincerity, I want as many of you guys to find your somebody as much as possible. So a lot of times when I say stuff, I'm saying stuff that either I got from married individuals, relationship individuals, or men. And a lot of the information, because y'all want to all dark and handsome, I talk to these men all the time, and I try to give y'all the information back. But I think all women, I think your cousin is, it gave you some solid advice. And I say, do those things. Go to Home Depot. Don't look like a hoochie mama. Look. Look cute, like how you have one right now. I have on your workout outfit. I always stay covered up. I always stay covered up, dress respectfully. And then my cousin like, but cause you know you got them them curves and stuff. You can't really cover that. I say, but it's not like I got everything just hanging out. I'm still covered up or whatever. I can't do nothing about that. Okay. All right. So why would a guy be lucky to be? Was that actually your three flaws? You didn't ask me my three flaws. Okay. What are your three flaws? Sometimes I overthink things and I'm working on my patience as well. And sometimes um, I expect things that are, that I really don't communicate to the guy. I'm, I'm working on that too. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm smart. I'm nice. I can be sweet if you allow me to be. I'm an educated um, woman, well-rounded, was raised in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I know street, I know book, I'm, uh, you know, the whole package. So uh, I cook very well, thanks to my mother. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I think any man would be absolutely lucky. I just hadn't came across him yet, so, you know. And Trina, what's the age range you would date? You're 48. I would say 38 to 52, maybe. Yeah. Okay, 48 to 52.
She just said 38. This woman 50 looking for a 38 year old man making 100k. This is what this is the wall. Shout out to my guy who's that Project Leroy. We had the one sister up here. Now this is what the wall looks like. You see what I'm saying? We got to know what it looks like when it's over. Mm. When the prop when it's just done, you just a, a glaze on the bun. That's it. She talking <laughs> 50 years old. This is what it look like. That's why we tell younger women. What's the problem here? You don't want to be single at this age. You should not be dating in your 50s. For Y'all should be off the market. There you go. So she 50. I'm 38. And she just. What's up, Nana? <laughs> like, come on, man. A 30-year-old healthy man. That's what she wants. That's crazy to me. That's insanity. Yeah, it's, let's, let's strike one through three. The fact she says she want a, a man that's, what, 12 years, her junior? You fitty. You fitty. You a whole fitty bowl. Talking about 38. She playing and joking. All she want is all she want is desirable meet to meet clashing, and that's it. She might as well rip the hip, pay the play, and go ahead and get you a little boy toy with your nasty self. Mm. So, yeah, this is a rough one here. Shout out to E.V. Ray. <laughs> He says, it was Unc singing, I got beans and bologna. I got beans and bologna. Yeah. He's his finger in her mouth. That's wicked. Man. <laughs> Y'all brothers, wow. We didn't hear back shots like gang violence. The one sister said, the brother uh, asked her for like, God, God. what'd she say? Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, Y'all be saying some wild stuff on these first dates, man. Doing wild. Shout out to Project Leroy. He <laughs> said she better pay to play or go see Unc at the VFW. He <laughs> <laughs> she don't want that. She want her meets class. Y'all see what it is. Man. <laughs> and shout out to Filthy Ramirez says if a woman, if a woman and can't get meat to meet, you lost a man, not the same. You lose man. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's rough. But no, that was the woman. So we got the one woman that back shots like gang violence. The one woman said the brother asked her what that mouth do, mm -hmm. and now this woman here said the man took a finger put y'all brothers on the front lines. Y'all wilding. Yeah, boom Who is that? Somebody in the chat said sucking on post COVID fingers is wild, man. Yes, it is. And here's the thing. Back to Home Depot. I got a dilemma. I'm so tired of going to Home Depot and going to the bathroom and I keep observing grown men leaving the bathroom and not washing their hands. It's only a matter of time before I follow one of you ninjas out the bathroom and make a spectacle of you in the front of the store. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, like COVID is so it's nasty. Y'all really out here and y'all hygiene is subpar. Y'all out here going duty and then y'all will walk right out onto the floor and start touching stuff. I'm over it. In PFA, Man. men wash your hands, and it, and it, and it's it's all racist too. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time. I'm going, I'm going, I'm yeah, going to show gonna keep out. Now. We'll keep moving for you too. Wash Let your hands, fellas. <laughs> all right. Shout out to Demarcus. He come through the two dollars. Says she almost called herself an educated bi. So we're gonna let her she finish because we got a lot more on the back end, man. Here we go. She did. Fifty-two. Should he be here? You said he has to be here because I, I don't play them games. Okay, so you might have he has kids already. He can have kids. Hopefully they all grown and gone, but it, it's cool. All right, let's just do it. So we got Trina Houston, 48. She's a nurse, a specialist, one son that's 25. She wants you slim, fine. Tall, dark, handsome, slim, fine. Desire is at least 100K. I talked to her about 70K, and we got a, I don't know. Like, hmm. <laughs> why you like, gotta I, go? I mean, like, 70, 70, 70k? What are you doing with your life for me? So that's what I said. Whatever he's doing with the 70k. Okay. We gotta know what you're doing. All right. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? Um, I'm on Facebook, Trina Timo Moore, and then I'm on Instagram, Trina Timo. Trina Timo. T-M-O, T-M-O. Oh, T-M-O, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, Trina, honey, well, you keep me posted how it goes, baby. I will hit you up. Thank you, Kendra. Bye, love. So there we go. Yeah, I think her stuff is private over there, but 
She said what she said. Another one of these 50 year old gatekeepers looking for a younger man in his 30s making six figures. This is insane. She watched, she watched too much Disney. She on Instagram too much. She's out of touch with reality. She think at 50 years old, she can go to a club or bar and find this 35-year-old six-figure making whippersnapper that's in love with her. Good luck. Yeah, give her whatever you want. Uh, big band, sub, <laughs> all that. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to bring the Godfather out on her, and we're going to keep it moving, <laughs> folks. Yeah, shout out to Big Unk that stuck his his a uh, dirty infected index finger in her mouth. Yeah, but with that being said, gentlemen, wash your hands in public. Don't nobody want to share y'all cooties. So here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. We're gonna keep it moving. We got a lot of madness on the back end. Hmm. Shout out to Racha says looking for money and not love. Get off social media. Money is love to them. It's a that's the translation. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Money is the currency of love. <laughs> <Huh>. So here <laughs> we go. Hit the like button. I see a ton of y'all. We got 343 likes, over 500 people in the building. Come on, y'all. Shame. Shame. We should have Shame. over 500 Shame. likes by now. There you go. But that's all right. It is a question. Here's a thought. How many bed bugs from our visit from the Brasa hey, have cousin. stuck around? I think that's a good portion of the ones that refuse to hit the like button. I think they stuck around. They find this uh, amusing at least, but they ain't going to hit the like button in honor of the Braca. If you're a ladybug and you're watching, just put a one in the chat. <laughs> trying to see some. <laughs> Man. So... <laughs> Yeah, take a second, hit the like button, folks, if you have not. We're going to bring this next one out, I'm trying to catch this timestamp. Uh, we're going to go half off, shorty. I think we got a prison bay in the house. Here we go. Yeah, uh, I'm a rapper. Rossi, Rossi, Rossi Bugatti. Yeah, man. I'm, yeah. Rossi Bugatti, what do you do for a living? You might want to call him and check right now. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you, sweetheart. What do you do for a living? Oh. I'm a rapper. I'm signed to Drake. I'm signed to Draco the Ruler, the Stink Team. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I, you're signed to who, Drake? Huh? huh? You're signed to Drake? Draco the Ruler, not Drake. Draco the Ruler. Drake. I don't. I don't know Draco the Ruler. Yeah, yeah he you're passed her. away at the, at a festival uh like two years ago. You probably heard of him. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Roz, Rosie yeah. Bugatti, this is a single show. Are you here to look for a woman? Yes, I am. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. Can you give me 20 seconds of your rap career? Can I give you 20 seconds of my rap career? That's what you're trying to hear, Sam? Give, give me 20 seconds of what you do. <laughs> I'll be down this drawer. Wrong nigga. I amp this bitch up. Put two twirls in your roar. Tranquilizer shells, and I ain't talk about beat down this. We're gonna fast forward that. All right, Bugatti. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're gonna catch. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them we can't see her. Child, but I guess they shouldn't take your chain because if they take your chain, Tell them we can't see her though. Take child, um, but I guess they shouldn't take your chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Did nah, man. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just a ride, right, man. It's just yeah, entertainment. Yeah, you it's just me. entertainment. Just you, you warn us. It's my listen. You you gave me you gave me the warning. So it's all it's on me because you did tell me it was gangster rap, and if he wasn't, you wasn't sure we was ready, and I told you to proceed. So you you, you gave yeah. me. You, let's, let's continue with the relationship part. All right, Rosy Bugatti, twenty nine. You have any kids? No, nah, I don't have any kids. Um, you're a rapper for a living. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. A Gemini. And where do you live? Where were you calling us from? I'm from South Central LA. South Central. 
All so, right, Rosie Scotty, South Central LA, 29. Yeah, Denver, my, no kids. This, yeah, this my, this my, this my Instagram right here. You can pin it. I'm about to uh, put it up there. Okay. Well, I, That's I, it right. I, I got her. I got to proceed. They're asking me, are you in jail or have you been in jail? We I'm did. in jail. You're, 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 you're in jail in this moment. Yeah, at this moment. How are you in jail? It's like you're in a studio. Oh uh, yeah, I turned it to a studio. <laughs> no, nah, we ain't in no studio though. Wait, hold on. You're you're calling me from jail. Uh, 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 How are you in jail and you guys are both on the phone? Uh, this this the jail cell right here. Wait, but you uh, that's the jail cell? You have a TV. Yeah, yeah, we got TVs in here. You got two TVs. Like living, how do you get a TV in the jail cell? Like it looks like a living room. Oh uh, man, uh, we buy it off a package. But wait a minute, Rosie Bugatti, when are you getting out of jail? Uh, I should be out in like two years. So how are you gonna meet a woman if you're currently in jail, Rosie Bugatti? I mean, you know, it's all type of women that, you know what I'm saying? That's the rest of the jail. That's the rest of the men's in jail. I ain't gonna be here forever, so. You know, we can proceed so outside. So you looking for a pen pal? Man, that is, whatever the case might be, if that's what they want to call it. Now, what are you in jail for, Rosie Bugatti? Oh, man, I'm in jail for uh, allegedly putting guns in my video and, and some tax evasion. Guns in the video and tax evasion. You are in jail. Right now, with a whole living room jail cell, I've never seen a jail cell look like this. Here we go, huh? You got the right to remain silent. Anything you go in can and will be used against you. Oh, so they locked up. We don't talked about this. You know, I don't know how y'all do it. There's no way I can be in a five by eight with another man. You know, it's just too close, man. I like my space, my comfort. I would rather be pushing up roses, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, that part, yeah. Just tell me look at the flowers. I'm going to do something to make you make me look at the flowers. Ain't no way in Hades. Thank Lord for freedom. And they but done yeah. made it way too comfortable. These brothers sitting in there with TVs and pantry. And, and Kendra like, whoa. He like, yeah, we chilling. Chilling. Cell phone. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> still making moves, still still moving packs on the outside, all that. Kendra, what are you talking about? Talking about just need a little pen pal. He said, then we can move around when I'm free. Yeah, he got his celly in the background giving him the answers. Kendra said, What you do to go to jail? His his bunkie said, he said, uh, tax evasion. Tell him tax evasion. That sound good. <laughs> he said, Oh, I had guns in my video and tax evasion. This is wicked. Like just how we got arrested development amongst the women. Same dang on thing. Arrested development. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Man. And shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, all right, fellas, stair step in the name of love or finger licking Letitia. Latasha. <laughs> Ooh, they both was old, huh? I get the finger licker. <laughs> finger licking good. <laughs> and shout out to Richai. He says, Gavin X, at this point, I am divine and Richard Media will allow you some grace for the name mix up. There you go. <laughs> I'm messing up all the time. <laughs> they, yeah, we told y'all y'all interchangeable. <laughs> and Jamisa Walker come back through. She says, likes versus views. Hit the light. I told all the bed bugs, big time. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Walker. <laughs> so this is half off shorty in the jail cell. Here we go. They knew the cousins must know your pedigree because they knew they know that you're in jail. So what kind of woman you want, Rosie Bugatti, from jail? I'm looking for an uh, honest woman, uh, you know, understandable, woman. understandable woman. Who, who, it don't really, I mean, it don't really. Is that your cellmate? It don't really. Um, coaching you on what to say. Oh my! Are you wanna you wanna you wanna talk to my cellmate? I'll give you the answers. Oh, uh, nah, he did. You know, he just talking. He didn't okay, give me no answers. What kind of woman are you looking for, mm. Rosie Bugatti? A loyal woman, understandable woman. Uh, you know, not it don't and it don't really matter the age. You know, 
Um, what are, what are some deal breakers? What would you not accept? What would I not accept? Uh, disloyal. Uh, I mean, a woman that really don't understand my situation. I don't want to, you know, be going back and forth with no woman about that because once I explained to her and she already set me for who I am, I wouldn't like for her to be, you know, like uh, trying to nag on and try to tell me who not to be, you feel me, later on down the line after I showed her who I am already, you know? Oh, okay. Now, if you just, just want to understand right, Shout out to I Am Divine for the 20 ball. He says, Kendra not going to end the call, but I will. Don't like seeing brothers and sisters in a bad light. There you go. Yeah, he locked up. Yeah, for those of you, I know it's normal, especially amongst us melanated folks. But listen here. Yeah, jail is trauma. Yeah, it is what is absolute trauma. And that that him and his silly day way too comfortable. Y'all listen, that's that's why it's trauma. It's a natural environment, like Mr. X said. You, you're too close, man. Shout out to Dylon. You're too close. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like you said, it's unfortunate. And a lot of times we sit back, don't even realize how many brothers is actually in prison. You know what mm. I mean? Or has been. Or, you know, so it's just rough. Yes, it is. Got to do better, you know. And speaking mm. of that, I got Theo. <laughs> Got to do better. The Do Better podcast with Theo Coop come through the ten dollars says, and of course Kendra didn't end the call, shaking my head. Content gold. She know what it is. Yeah, we shameless at this point. <laughs> this is wild, Theo. So we appreciate you, brother. My guy, Theo, Mister Honey K. <laughs> Honey K Bay is here. <laughs> Shout What's to up? Theo. We appreciate you, Theo. <laughs> Yeah, this is wild. I'm glad um, I am divine got her off the screen. All right. Sal Bill says his daddy telling him what to say. He's a wife. See, listen, listen, oh. listen, listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Brian F. Money, 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 money. He come through with the 20 ball as well. Says that's enough. All right. You still got your 20 in your back pocket for the rest of the show. Yes, sir. So we keep track of that. <laughs> and Skinny Boy says, All right, ladies, no chance the rapper or Gavin. <laughs> 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 Gavin, yeah, uh, if you can't win against a free, against a in, in prison, then you and, know, and he got all the time on his hands. All right. Listen, y'all can't compete with the man. These women that came up here say, I'd be on the phone with Prison Bay 14 hours a day straight. Who can compete? Nobody. I didn't think about that. that that's all he going to be on that phone religiously. What would he rather do? Talk on the phone with a woman or be around, surrounded by a whole bunch of stinking, violent, egregious ninjas? And telling her the most beautiful speaking poetry to her. So Yes, writing poetry on the spot. Listen here. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I Listen. People in prison bay. Listen here. I hey glory to my cousins. I got some cousins out here. They is them. <laughs> yeah. They always got girlfriends. <laughs> Man. So this brother here, we're gonna take him, his cellmate, everything in that cell, and put him in the sub. Glory be, do it. <laughs> The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's why we be, you know, coming up and telling you guys our stories and reiterating on Bone Quisha's lying tales. Because we got, when they be talking about they got uh, baby daddies locked up and stuff, listen, we know what happened when them ninjas come home. All right, we ain't talking about low level stanking Debo. We talking about head honcho nug nug. 
when he come home, it's gonna be some furniture moving. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Man. And shout out to Devil Games, been a channel member for seven months. Says deal with prison bay, shaking my head. We need to do better. Indeed. Here we go. We're gonna bring this next sister out. We are back at hundred dollar match play, hundred dollar skips. Here we go. We about to cook. Um, I think we all caught up. Hundred dollar skips, folks. Here we go. I'm ready. Okay, keep the phone steady. What's your name? Uh, Martina, <laughs> aka Hustle Mom. Oh, aka Hustle Hustle Mom. Where you get that nickname from? I've been having it for years for hustling. You know what I'm saying? Get money. You know. How old are you, Martina? I'm 58, and I feel great. Okay. Now, you said you're a hustle mom, so I'm assuming you got children. How many kids do you have? Where did I get that name? No, I said your name is Hustle Mom, so I'm assuming you have children. How many kids do you have? I have one daughter. Oh, how old is your daughter? 41. 41. Have you ever been married, Martina? Um, I've been married twice. Okay. When did you get divorced last? Pardon me? When did you get divorced last? When did you get divorced? Oh, I, I'm a widow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Your husband passed away. Okay. Martina, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Um, and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a writer. I'm a renowned writer. Um, I'm just I'm a writer, but I had a I had a very um off the chain pass, you know. An off the chain pass. Yeah. Okay. What's some of the things you've been through? I used to be in the life. I used to be a three oh four, then I became a madam. Can I ask y'all a question? And I swear I don't know what this is. What does three oh four mean? Three oh four is a hoe that been up under some instructions, up under some pimping. So why is it called 304? Because back in the day when they had pagers, if you put 304, you turn it upside down, it would say, oh. Oh, I, oh, okay. So you used to be, you're a, you're a reform hoe. I used to be a 304 back in the day. So when did you give up the whole life? Pardon me? When did you give up the whole life? Um, In 2006. You can't make this up. I used to be a hoe, but I ain't now no more. This woman, <laughs> a reform 304. She said back in the day when you turn that page upside down, it's like 304, where you at? Get back to the motel. Where you at? So here we are. Here we are. Honesty is honesty is good, right? That's a good thing. She ain't lying. She says she she says she world renowned for how fast she can run in high heels. Shout out to the Boondocks. <laughs> All right, and a, and a and a pimp named Slickback. Here we go. She says she a three oh four. Can you say what's that? I don't know what that is. She said uh, that was that's a lady tonight that's up under some some some, some instruction. All right, <laughs> she's I ooh, like it, that. I ain't gonna hold you. I was impressed. Yeah. You, here we go. Uh, here's a, just a quick analysis. This woman is hardened, hardened like stone. Ain't nothing soft, feminine, nurturing about her. This here is a man. <laughs> so here we go. Um, well, look next time. Use your eyes. They ain't supposed to just be hazel. They're supposed to do some goddamn work around here. All right. <laughs> where, where was your antenna? <laughs> huh? You need a hold of water player, oh, but you can't make them think. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I feel you. Hey, I like to say you can lead them to water, but you can't make them not drown themselves. Come on, yeah. now talk about it. <laughs> okay, you gave it up. Okay, so you got a you got a crazy past. I had a what? So you saying you had a crazy past? A crazy past but i don't regret it it built my character it made me who i am today to where i'm writing and making money off my stories okay okay fair I, enough i'm so writing, books. I'm, writing books. books I'm writing books 
Um, I do uh, ism poetry. Okay. Ism, so we got Martina. You know what ism is? I don't. So tell me. Ism is the game. The game? The game. When you in the ism, when you in the life. But you're not in that life no more. No, I'm not. I'm not in that life, but my stories and my um my poems are about the ism. So you wanna you wanna recite twenty seconds of one of your poems about the ism? Um I do, but um I have wrote I have wrote poems about sweetie. I have wrote poems about different people, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a sweetie song, her song Immortal. She has my voice in it saying I'm um it's in me, not on me. I'm married to the game. Okay. But you divorced her, the game, right? That's I'm bad. out the game, but it's still in me, not on me. Oh, I'm still okay. I'm corporate now, but I'm still u- utilizing my ism and my game in the in the industry. Ain't nobody okay. getting over on me. Okay, well let me ask you some questions. Cause you're here looking for a man, right? I'm looking for a whale. A what? A whale, not no shark, not no guppy, but I'm looking for a whale. I'm trying to pull an Anna Nicole Smith. What? So tell me what you mean by whale. What? I'm looking for a rich, multi-millionaire whale, like Portia had, without the scamming. Okay, we don't know, allegedly, what her ex-husband did, so we're using... Oh, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. I'm over here looking like Nicki Minaj. And we will always have this moment for life. For life. For life. Now we will always have this moment for life. For life. A whale, Mr. Walker. I mean, I love it. I mean, listen, the confessions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's speaking from her spirit. All right. It's it's on there. It's in her. It ain't on her. All right. She looking, she looking for a whale. <laughs> huh? We gonna do some some uh some ism rhyming. What she say? She say, she say it's in me, it ain't on me. All right, I'm looking for a whale, homie. <laughs> I got it. And she getting drove around too. I guess she she putting on for the put on. She got on her hater blockers. Huh? Her hair piece is, is fitted real nice and tight. She got she got baby hairs and everything. She's like 58 with baby hairs. And she getting drove around. She getting chauffeured. But she listen, she all about that ism life. Here we are. Why not? This is wild work. Um, I'm gonna let her keep going. All right. This is wild. Um, <laughs> we got some hater blockers. here, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Let me see where we left off. Uh, got that one. Let's see. Oh, no. There we go. Skinny boy said the ladies didn't vote, guy. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Gavin married. All right. Oh, I was a married man, squeegee. Or, uh, there you go. Boy. I don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Devil Games. Been a member seven, for seven months. We appreciate you. He says, deal with Prison Bay. Shake my head. We need to do better. Shout out to Theo Coop. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you, Devil Games. Says, Arrested Development on full display here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Appreciate you, Project Leroy. He says, an old 304 is a 608. A, a really old 304 is a nine twelve. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Classy Perspective. Says I love it. Laugh my butt off. Tell the truth. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Three oh four. Straight to the face. <laughs> Appreciate your sound, Bill. Says she used to be a three oh four in the nineties. God damn, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shout out to Don Jeter, the big joker, come through the Timbo. Says Granny's Theft Auto Easter Egg. What? This is the modern Eartha Kit. 
This is pure game. God has bestowed this hag for the game. Indeed, she <laughs> listen. She's spitting gems. We need to listen closely. This is pimping. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Shout out to I am divine. Says she has a couple of interviews on YouTube out here. Her history is wild. She also had a PIMP. That's what she said. She said yeah. she had a PIMP and she was a madame. She's on both sides of the game. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Says ism, jism, and in- <laughs> man, listen. <laughs> 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 I ain't know how to soften that up. Appreciate you, Roger Leroy. Says no need to buy her book. Just watch the Freak Nick documentary. Okay. okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate you. Sumo of it. Come through the $5. Appreciate you. Says she was a real famous lady of the night. Her PIMP name was Kenny Red. He passed away two years ago. Uh, the have an episode on Soft White Underbelly channel. Well, God dang. If it's on Soft White Underbelly, it's official tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, B. Wyatt. Says the female Stan G looking for a stomp dime. <laughs> Appreciate you, Roy. Says my ears are bleeding. Yeah, keep listening. <laughs> Appreciate you, J-O-B. Odd job come through. Says he's the queen sister called in. This is <laughs> wild. <laughs> Appreciate oh. you, Cold Sounds. Says she do know that they are sperm whales right guess she had enough of those already and just a regular whale will do mm. shout out to cold sound appreciate you jason white been a member for one month appreciate you he says who money mike sister on kendra yeah here she is cold as ice yeah this is wild i got beans and baloney yeah she's so cold look at her face hmm. Shout out to EJ Uno, supporting the centers like he do. He says, think about it. Your granny has a body count in the thousands. My word. And you know, that was her job. It was her job to rank them, rack them up. So shout out to, we got a cash out from DeMarcus. Got a couple. He says, we appreciate you, brother. He says, bussy bros. Um, I think that was for the last. He says, This is a veteran 304, y'all. I can tell. This is a dude. She, she, yeah, she wow. Ain't nothing left. She just looking to do business ventures. You ain't trying to, ain't no intimacy or romance left. I assure you that. Man, just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. She is dead. That part. <laughs> Shout out to Square Biz. Come through. Says pimping ain't easy, but somebody has got to do it. Choich. Oh, here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Word of legend. But yeah, I can't go- say that's allegedly, but I'm just saying. I'm looking for a whale. I'm looking for um, a wealthy man that wants to entertain me and likes to loves my personality because I have a big personality and travel the world and just you know make them feel comfortable without so being amatory. So let's get here early. Does this man have to make a certain amount of money? I said a multimillionaire. I'm talking about a whale. I'm not looking for a shark or no guppy. I'm looking for a whale. So, that wants so to be, yeah. So what's the what's the what's the minimum millions he should have? Multi million. Okay, multi is not a number. So is there a multi number for you? That's it's seven digits. I understand. Seven yeah, is seven my favorite more. number. Seven is my favorite number. Seven is the God number. So you know, okay. people may look and think like it's it's impossible, but you never know what happened. Look at Carol Baskin. She got in an argument with her boyfriend and was walking down the street. And met a millionaire, a multi-millionaire. So nothing is never impossible. Okay. So you care about his ethnicity? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Do you care? He could be a midget. He could be a midget, long as he's nice to me. And rich. Nice and rich. Nice and rich, clean, you know, um, loves black people. Okay. Um, want to be an activist, 
want to give me reparation. You want, you want wanted him to give you rep. See, you want him to be white? I want him to give me reparation. Okay. Yeah. I okay. Want him to be white? I want to break on him. Okay. You know what? I'm trying to keep up with all these um, slogans. You know, I I, yeah, I know it's, it's they, hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot with me. Um, Cause I learned, I learned what three hundred four meant. Finally, I learned what isms meant. Now I know multi-millionaire men are called whales. Um, and you just said something else. I, I, I'm green. They always tell me in the comments. But you know, you know what? I'm glad that you're. I'm glad that you want to know. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that you're. You're open the door. I'm glad that you want to know. You know what I'm saying? That you're trying to get knowledge every day because you can learn something every day, Kendra. Right. And the last thing you just said, you want to break on him. So what do, what do you mean when you say you want to break on him? I want, I want I want all his money. I need his soul. I need his reparation. I need Nothing him to pay to back. Your, your, oh, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. <laughs> Jessica, there you go. You don't want to look into her ass. You don't. Ain't nothing there. I prom. Listen, listen. Let's stop. We talked about how them two unfortunate brothers was in that little sale real close to one another. This sister here, she been she all about ism is life for her. She done she done been under a PIMP's guidance and instruction. All right, so she was on that stroll getting money for him and, and making that work she was a bottom bottom dollar bus down then she graduated to be a madam so she was out here you know dishing it out instead of receiving it she's broken and hardened like 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 aged wood like old driftwood <laughs> i'm telling you yeah this is wild like we're seeing a lot of craziness up here but what dime one say you a goddamn liar. I told you the Bible said be fruitful and multiply. Oh, he can't handle out of this. This pussy is purified. All right. What? No, it's uh, not. Huh? <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do it. But this ain't no woman. <laughs> oh, I can't. This is a wild one. Here we go. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Your husband that died, was he rich? Yep. He was. So did you get money when he passed away? Yep. And he was a 16, too. What does that mean? He's a pimp. He was a pimp. So you're He's... a millionaire yourself? Well, well, by default. What is, okay, you're, you're, what do you mean by default? Because your husband died? Yeah. So. Just out of curiosity, you have your own millions. Is it is that why you want to date another whale? Yes, multi millionaire. Absolutely. Could you open that up for me? Yes. I was just hey, how you doing, baby? Good. I was just telling him, please don't move. Okay, me. girlfriend, we gotta finish this interview. Are you ready? Now we can't be going around the universe with you now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get Hello? off right now, but I just really wanted to talk with you and just let put it in the universe. I'm manifesting the whale. Well, one thing before you go, okay, listen, one thing before you go, do the Kendra can, because they want to see your shape, because you want a millionaire. So what's your shape? Show us your Kendra can. Oh, I'm super duper fine. Oh, you're super oh boy. fine. Not super I'm duper. super duper fine. And what is the age range you want to date? I just want to get that. Let's do the Kendra can and your age range. Pardon me? Um, I would like somebody between 50 and 80. 50 and 80, okay. Okay, unless but I really kid, look like an old man. Oh, so you don't care about sex? If he's eighty, he can't get it up. It won't matter to you. I love a man that got ED. I don't want nobody that can get it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. ED on it. I want ED. You want ED? Can we see your ED? Put, put because the six so million can... ways you can skin a cat. Choose one. You don't have to have sex to make somebody happy. You could massage them. You could shave their head. You could, you know, read poetry to them. You could, there's so many ways you can, you know, accommodate a man without having sex. Oh, okay. Let's do the kids' care. We got to see your legs. 
Uh, so we can see this whole shape. Hold on. Could you hold this for me? She wants her hand that has ED. If hold you on. Just she don't want right to ask But you got to be rich. All right, let's see this body. Okay. And you're 58. Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. She's a reform 304. Okay. She don't. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. And uh, why, Mar Martina, before you go, why would a man be lucky to be with you? Because I am a ball. I am a vibe. I'm a vibe. Like, I, I'll put life in a man. I will give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation without having sex. Just being who I am and just breathing life into him. You know, I'm an image of God. So, you know, I'm like Rahab in the Bible, Joshua chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. God, but God is real. I just come home drunk from school, laying up with men. I'll be a prostitute and having all sex with my mouth. Licking men's balls. Thank you. Amen. Remember you in prayer. Anyone else have a word from the Lord? I'm speechless. Ah! <laughs> hey, this is wild. Yeah. This is crazy. Crazy man. Hey, 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 my man Jay. <laughs> Jay Rob say, she said, I'm on a, a ninja with ED. I ain't trying to get you don't want, don't nobody want none of that cooler kind of know how. Anywho, she said, I want a man with ED. Jay Rob said, That's fine. I tell her it's just a rubber face around down there. <laughs> this is wild work, man. This is hey. oh, no, he's a queen. This is wild. <laughs> hey Jay, Jay said, rub your rub your face on this gelatinous meat. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah, ah. And she didn't do it. She ain't got no soul. She's looking for one. She said, I'm looking for a man's money and his soul. That listen here. Y'all ain't listening. Shout out to Don Jeter. See, me and my man Don, we listen, real, real recognize real. This sister ain't said nothing but the tooth. All right, that's that's a part of ism. Gonna go give it to you straight flat like that, Jack. And she up been telling, she said, I want all your bread, your song care, if your midget, your weenie don't work, give me money. <laughs> Shoot, glory to this old legendary hyena. Give him hell. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna try to catch these super chats. Um, uh, I think we left off here. Shout out to Squirt Biz. Says pimping ain't easy, but somebody got to do it. We got that one. <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. There's a lot of souls swallowed by this, my damn. Oh, yeah. A lot of soulless individuals. Man. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? <laughs> Appreciate you, brother Anthony. Says she looking for a provider man for her and her PIMP. That's wicked. Well, he passed away. She said he left her everything. Alleged. I don't know. And she currently trying to break this 304. It's a woman with her that's driving her car, opening her door. <laughs> she currently working. This is sick. <laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy. Says, my bitch runs the streets at night and I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is wild work here, man. This is wild. Appreciate yourself, Bill. He says she was abused for so long. Now she's the abuser. Flat like that. This is here she is. She getting her vengeance on the world. Oh, it ain't fun when the rabbit got the guns, they say. That yeah. part, huh? Appreciate you, Mary B. Say just found your channel. You two are hilarious. I've been been watching your videos. Do you have a live stream schedule? Why, yes, we do. We are live more days than not. For single by choices, we are live. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. And on Saturdays, we have our Regal Rumble, and we come to you live at 8.30. You're welcome. Appreciate you, Jason White. Says, she wants you to pass away. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Skitty Boy. Says, she's been all swallowed up. Ain't nothing left. Nothing left. Appreciate you, Anthony. Says, sad part is... She don't sound all that different from some modern women. Floor, floor, is that you? Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your project, Leroy. Says, Gavin, we need that girl con 
confessing in the church. And you just got her. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate you, Izzy DeVoe. Says, ladies, this is what happens when the music stops and you have no seat. Pay attention. Life decisions have steep consequences. That was poetic, Izzy, Izzy DeVoe. <laughs> Appreciate you, Sal Bill. Says, if you go mouth to mouth with her, you will get something growing on your lip. Yeah, a predatory fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to JLB. I job come through like you do. Says, pour holy water on her. Get the crosses. This woman is wild. She will suck the isms, jisms, and soul out of the guy. <laughs> Man. God, ah! Wicked. Appreciate you, Kim Netter. Come through. Says, where do you even send this one? Hmm, that, that's a good question. Do we send her to Glaze Galaxy to continue working or to her demise? <laughs> Shout out to the General Theo Coop. Says, she says she wanted to be like Carol Baskin. That bitch fed her rich husband to the tigers and her butt ain't got a driver uber at best hey she talking about the uh what was that the tiger king the, yeah, woman? Like the woman that was going after the tiger they say like she had like two ex-husbands and they kept one of them got ate by the tigers and wild deal one of them they never found them or something something crazy so but she was known for you know she said anna nicole smith carol baskins y'all know what she looking for you, you got to appreciate her keeping it so gutter and gritty. She's like, I don't care. This is who I am. I'm telling you what I'm looking for. No cap, no chaser. A whale. Rich. Winnie don't work. He can be quadriplegic, missing the head. I don't care. Hand me your wallet. <laughs> We're going to let her land this plane. She did that whole Kendra camp. She was twerking. You see the uh, young Caucasian boy back there with his family. She's sitting there talking about us. She was talking right in front of these people. This is crazy. Yeah. I don't care. Because I am a ball. I am a vibe. I'm a vibe. Like, I, I'll put life in a man. I will give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation without having sex. Just being who I am and just breathing life into him. You know, I'm an image of God. So, you know, I'm like Rahab in the Bible, Joshua chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to bring life into him. Oh, okay. And um, what's how, how can the guy reach out to you that, okay, for the record, she wants a man, a whale, okay? You have to be rich, multi-millionaire. Um, you can be between the age of her age to 80. She prefers you have ED. She likes men with ED. Um, she's a reform hoe. She used to be a part of that life. She's not a part of that life no more. How can the guy reach out to you? They can catch me on Hustle Mom Martina on every platform, on TikTok, on um, uh, IG, you know, on everything, on, on X, you know what I'm saying? Look for Hustle Mom Martina. Hustle Mom Martina. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for the 304 education that you gave me today. Yes. Absolutely, right. Kendra. And God bless you. Thank, thank you. I receive it. Keep me posted yes. how it goes. All right. So here we go. Let's see if we can go check this IG out because uh, she was definitely having cell phone issues. But this was one of the wildest ones we've had up here for sure. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness, that's the first. A whole my damn. She came on Kendra currently in the midst of breaking in a 304. Talking about open my car, though. Open this building, though. Come on. I hope y'all was listening. She was on the, on the phone with Kendra. And the, the woman came. She said, open the door. She opened the door. They got to the building. She said, open the door. <laughs> so this is Hustle Mom. She got her blue check mark with her 27,000 followers. And mm. she on here. Filtered up. Straight filter work. Hey, Shame on me. You. you know what I'm saying? A little mixture of both. I, I don't know. Filters. Selling purses and pictures. All right. Sick. And you've ever had to do to a trick. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's some <laughs> stories. The craziest thing that I ever, ever did to a Trizic was, you know, I didn't shit on the tree. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Son. What in the, see what I'm, stop everything. <laughs> Lee. They asked the question. Here we go. She said she took a whole duty on a whole nother woman. Yeah, I told you they broken. They broken. These are broken. These are broken. These are dudes. These are dudes. They can't be number dudes. Tree on TMZ. I'm Sacramento, Macramento, but I'm in Vegas right now. Uh, my opinion is always going to be Tupac and Biggie, but I feel like E-40 is the greatest rapper of all time. Have you ever seen his catalog? All right, shout out to Fody Walter. But here we go, <laughs> man. I'm over this sister. I'm over this sister. This woman, 50 years old. I mean, she part of life, like you said. Yeah. What else are we going to say that she didn't say? She done, yeah, she done came up here and pulled an Eminem off 8 Mile. So, <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing you could say. She was a 304, madam. And, you know, her, her PIMP husband passed away. And she a millionaire by default. She got all his belongings. Hey, regardless, she played the game right. What's the number one objective is to, we want to see <laughs> in a more, you know, uh, honest way, but we want to see our men and women make it to the end of their life outside of a nursing home. And so the this company, is him here. This, this is Kenny him. Redman. This is the legendary pimp. She said this is from the player's ball. This is an old photo. That's her back in her probably 30s. She definitely looked much younger. And that's the brother here, the legendary pimp. She got his photo still on IG. She honoring his name. Tell you what, the PIM pay. Oh my goodness. The PIMP game is pretty religious. Yeah, they serious about stuff like that. <laughs> about respect. <laughs> respect and honor. I gotta put quotes on it because. What's honor about selling Cuda Cat? I don't know, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, as far as this sister go, we're gonna throw it in the rocket. We actually got a new rocket tonight. Shout out to D's Nuts. Uh, we got an <laughs> upgraded rocket just for her, y'all. So. Okay, we done fixed the fuel slide and uh, and the engine control module. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. See, this shit is gonna be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. I played the fool for a fool. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, the ball, Quisha. All right. Hey, hey, I was sitting there anticipating. I was watching like the real space show. I said, we going to make it? Are we going to make it to Glaze Galaxy? Nah. <laughs> He's nuts for the um, drop. We appreciate you, brother. Uh, that was good. <laughs> Shout out to I Am Divine. Says, sad thing, a lot of women want the man she described. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Cold Sounds. Says that box is ghastly looking. I mean, everything that was once inside the box is now outside. Ooh, stop, just stop. So she <laughs> might be on to something about wanting an ED man. Yeah, you ain't trying to go down there and roam around her nether regions. You don't want no parts of that. And this woman says she dropped a whole deuce on the man. A big old booty. And everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. <laughs> what, what you going to do with her? She ain't, not, ain't no orifice sacred on her body. Come on now. She was a 304. She done, she, done, she done been poked and prodded everywhere, probably even her ear holes. And she up here taking duties on folks. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Man. So here we go. We had the back end of the show. Um, 
Appreciate you, Mr. Mister. Says even the sub had to visit the clinic after dropping her off. Yeah, ain't just cooties everywhere. Cooter cat of cooties. <laughs> and shout out to Demarcus in the cash app. He says, I bet she gives some mean turkey neck. Got, got, got. <laughs> yeah, with aggression. That's, yeah, she got something to prove. <laughs> yeah. else we at? Shout out to Mike Neal. Mike Neal come through the five dollars in the cash app. He says, "Thank y'all." Appreciate appreciate you talking about some mean gok gok. She gonna be holding choking you out while she while she perform. <laughs> Man, and shout out to Miss Walker, Jamisa Walker, one of the show sponsors. She hit us with another five in the cash app. Says she's smoking Newports four hundred Z's. Talking over, taking over for nine nine and two thousand. Yeah, boom, shakalaka. Y'all see her, and she looked like she was in a bank, like in the or post office waiting area. Got the little, the little Asian man, and his son in the background. She out here talking wonky, embarrassing everybody. Man, so here we go. I think we gonna get right to the feature. There was another one, but we'll save that. We'll get to it later in the week. We're going to get right into it, all right? Because we, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get right that was into epic. it. That was epic. Cause, I'm loving nah. this. We had, we man, I'm loving this. We had some first. We had the first stair step Kuda Kata. We had Prison Bay come through acting wonky. And then the whole my damn, we moving. <laughs> and also, right now, we also got another first. For a first time, this will be a single by choices. Match play multiplier. Yeah, boom, shakalaka. All skips oh, are two hundo. All right, we about to cook. Y'all gotta let us cook. So this is the. There we go. The match play multiplier. All right, you want her off the screen? You must feel a type of way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's let's cook this this weenie roast. <laughs> so here we go. Some of y'all know what's coming, and if y'all thought that was crazy. Uh, where we I'm ready at? for this. So first, let me see. Let's see what's lined up with this one. <laughs> so hit the like button if you're just coming in. We're gonna say hit the like button. Let's get these likes up. We're catching nope. this time stamp. It's about no to bussy. get real, real crazy. No bussy, no bussy, no bussy. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, all my people in the back. <laughs> Okay, who is this? Show me your face. Here we go. Uh, get your wine. Get your wine. <laughs> um, Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris, show me the room. Show me the room. Okay, show me the room. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Kendra G. Hey, you got a tattoo, you got a tattoo on your forehead? Yes. I'm what like on the Kendra G show. I'm famous now. No. <laughs> What's on your forehead? Uh, what does it say? Yeshua means Jesus in Hebrew, and Abba means father or daddy in Aramaic. So is it a tattoo or did you write it with something? That's a tattoo. So it's permanent yeah. every day. Right. Huh. Uh -oh. We get right into it. We get right into it. We got no time to waste, Mr. Walker. We're not, we're about to get names and locations. No, let's get right to it. All right. Translation of forehead tattoo. Jesus, daddy. <laughs> All right. I have my fingers crossed. I guess it didn't work. Guess I gotta charge these things up. I said no bussy, but I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. See, let's let's let him. You know, let's let him do it to himself, man. Let's see. <laughs> here we go. Okay. And I had to get it. Uh, every now and again, I have to get it up updated. All right. So, what yeah. do you want me to call you? Your name, Mister Chris. Yeah, my name is Mr. Chris Lord. I'm a transgender. I'm a transgender. You're a transgender. Okay, so you're a transgender man. Yes, a transgender man. 
And so you were um, born a was you so to be clarified, you were born a woman. Correct. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you telling me right in the beginning. Absolutely. And other something else I want to say right at the beginning is whoever gets with me has to be okay with the fact that I am totally in love with Dr. Juanita Bynum. So she has to be okay that that's my number one. If, if Dr. Juanita Bynum wants me, she may not want me, but hopefully she does. Okay, I, I think I, Dr. Juanita I'm Bynum, is, she's, she's a, a pastor or a gospel singer? She's all of that. Yeah, prophetess, uh, gospel singer, um, preacher, teacher, pastor, leader, uh, prayer warrior, intercessor, all of that. So just to be clear, you desire a romantic relationship with her? I do. I do. And I know this is really uncustomary for the Christian church. I know it's hard for them to understand, but I'm going through the process. I got the top surgery done. That means the breasts were removed and I'm on the way to getting the bottom surgery done, which is the penis can be added to. Um, I don't wanna, oh, oh okay. Oh, it's a lot. All right. I'm, I'm, so, I'm a man on the inside. I am ne I've never been a woman. I don't agree with women. You don't I agree mean, you with know, women? I Meaning I don't agree with th their thinking. I can't think the way they think. You can't think a way a woman thinks. Here we go, man. She's just a girl and she's on fire. <laughs> oh, All right. Hey, we back hey, to the boy. butcher. We back to the butcher. <laughs> we manufacturing meats. Let me chop some from here. Stitch it over there. Whoppity whoop. All right. <laughs> Whoppity whoop. <laughs> you sure don't sound like that. <laughs> Listen, man. Like what? Here's the look, I'm over here stuttering. Here's the thing. All y'all in YouTube land know just how sensitive this topic is when it comes to the sensitive ears of the world. And with that being said, <laughs> um, ain't no bussy here. And regardless of how y'all may feel. You know, uh, genetically, you know, this is a a woman. Al, but, I was about to say yeah. this. It, 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 listen, listen, say what y'all want. It'll take a real man. You can go in there and get some femininity up out of her. Get her in that bedroom. <laughs> Put her in the huckabuck. Get her in the huckabuck. I bet you she start <laughs> go get some femininity up out of her with that goatee, with that goatee and all. Gonna be moaning. Scratching your back, all that. There you, there you go. Grab her. All right. It's a her. Because of how y'all feel? That's a her. All right. You get her excited and things get moist, not hard. <laughs> ah, this is wicked. So, so like Gab said, you you want to really test your, your metal as a man, huh? I'm about to give y'all some shame and some sign language. Go grab her, put her in a huckabuck, ankles behind her head, all right, and all torque, and you get some, <laughs> you will get some femininity about it. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Hey, this is crazy work. Oh man. my goodness. Is this where we at? Is this where we at? He, the butcher, he said, the the breastuses is gone. I didn't already eliminated them, but is it going? So here we go. Do they take some boot meat, transfer the boot meat down to the to the meat? Oh, meat? I don't know, man. Ah, this you go. Yeah. How we listen? I don't, <laughs> I don't appreciate manufacturing meats. All right, because I want to. How y'all manufacture the meats? I don't like it. What's worse, manufacturing meat or chopping it off? <laughs> I don't know. This is bad. Like I said, still some femininity up in there, but it's going to take a strong man. More than likely, this guy is probably six foot eight. All right. You're going to have to go in here and get some femininity up out of her. That's all she cares about. Cannon pump and pump. Cannon pump and pump. All right. <laughs> Y'all got to eat this. This, 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 this woman. Listen, just in short. This woman that is 
transferring into a man is uh is uh also got Jesus daddy on his forehead. Let's get it. <laughs> Hit the like button, man. Exactly. Even though I'm in a female so, body, it's been very difficult to understand women. Oh, so what how do I know? With? How do I know? How do I know? I got proof, Kedra G. I got proof I don't understand women. I ain't been with a woman. I'm a virgin. So That's you want a man? I'm so confused. No, I want, I want, <laughs> I want women, but... I, I'm too traumatized or something is wrong with me where I didn't ever get an opportunity to understand how women think and how to approach them and talk to them. I mean, I'm like in a, I don't know if I, I, I'm in some kind of a, another universe because in my mind, it's Definitely called another universe. Definitely <laughs> another universe. Now, we will not disagree with you when you say you are not on earth. I'm not on Earth. I'm, I'm somewhere in the clouds of Earth's atmosphere. You're right. <laughs> I got a couple of questions. I got a couple of Go questions. Ahead. So do you desire a woman or a man? A woman. A full-fledged woman. Okay. How old are you, Mr. Chris? 42 years old. Okay. Now, I think, did you say you've never been with a woman, though? That's correct. Not even on a no. date. Not even on a date. That's correct. When did you begin your transition to a trans man? 2013. Okay. So you have you did have you dated men up until then? No. Sorry, it's a little windy. No, never, not once. So have you never been on no dates ever with a man or a woman? That's correct. Well, I I, so I did I did go out with two women. I mean I didn't go out with two women, but two women kissed me at least. But other than that, so that's about so it's fair to say you're a virgin at 42. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now I want to be respectful to Dr. Juanita Bynum because she is a public figure. Um, I'm not sure. Is, does, does she not have a husband? She was div uh, divorced, I think. Okay. Now, but just because she has she's a boyfriend, I don't know. That's none of my business. Okay. All right. But you want a woman to know that now, just, and I'm not trying to shoot your dreams now, but. <laughs> Being that this is a woman who practices a certain type of belief system when it comes to, you know, the Christianity faith, some people might be offended that you say that you want to date her. You're right. And I'm sorry that they feel that way. You don't care. I you apologize. What is it about her that makes you want her like she's the one for you? I don't know. It's like... Um something from the heart okay okay all right she's um, a she's a she's a bumblebee she's a, a bumblebee Ooh, child. and i'm trying to be a part of the hive and you're trying to be a part of the hive Ooh, child. all right mr chris lord where are you calling us from i'm calling you from brooklyn new york and, and you're 42 you have no children correct because you never had sex you're a virgin right that's correct so here we go, Brooklyn. Y'all got to hold this one. All right. <laughs> and she says she's looking for this woman. Juanita Bynum, I guess she's some church figure. I guess I, this might be like a head gynocratic goon somewhere. Okay. All right. This is like a church figure woman, head of the heads. And she's okay, talking about I want to okay. date her. Kendra, like, you don't think that's insulting to the church? Like, yeah. like, Mom, we just say, I really don't care. <laughs> Listen, um, I for YouTube purposes, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm a bit muffled. Mr. Walker is censored at, at this time. I can't say what I what I what's on my heart. Ain't no hate, no hate. Just some observations I could make. But the world is full of sensitive ninjas. However, this woman, <laughs> this woman is transitioning into a man. That's what we observed up here, and. She who is turning into a he would like to date a she that is also a prophetess, a female preacher, if you will, of the Christian faith. Imagine it. A, 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 a woman transitioned to a man with Jesus' daddy tattooed on her forehead when to date a Christian woman. 
A little bit of conflict there. It's going to be tough. <laughs> and shout out to Demarcus in the cash app. Says, is that bussy or stussy? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dealing with y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, appreciate you, Alexander X. Been a member for four months. Just salute and appreciate you. Stick with us. Stick with us. <laughs> appreciate your brother, Tony. Says, looking like Gavin XX, a.k.a. Gavin Before Picture. Gavin Before Picture. <laughs> Man, Tony. <laughs> That cut deep, brother. <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Appreciate <laughs> just squeegee kid. Says, dang, Cisco has fallen down bad since the thong song days. Thong, the thong, thong, thong. I don't want none of that thong. Ah, ah, ah. Appreciate you, your daddy plug. Said, arts and craft meats is strange. Ooh, yeah. Glue stick and paper mache weenie is wild. Man. Appreciate you, brother Sherrard. How you been? Say shout out to the chat. Shout out to you, brother. I ain't seen you in a while. Shout out to EJ Uno. Come through the 10 bucks. Look like he didn't had it. He said, y'all play too much. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Squeegee Kid. The stack goat himself says, dang, March is the first month I've had to do multiple unknown gender for the stats. There is no doubt. Winter is here. Indeed. Sweetie, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Says a loser is a loser any way you cut it, even if you cut it off. <laughs> oh, man. Appreciate you, Sal Bill. Any way you cut it, <laughs> any way you cut it. <laughs> oh, <I'm yeah>. just... <laughs> we, got, we got you, Sal. We got you, man. Here we go. Hit the like button. <laughs> Okay, so no kids. What do you do for a living? I'm doing my own work uh, in law. So I've been suing quite a few different companies, and now I'm going to collect. So you, you, what? You're suing people? Yeah, I'm suing people, uh, pro se. Are you a lawyer? Uh, I plan on becoming one by, excuse me, by honorary courtesy favorite title. Now, Mr. Chris, you know we all confuse as hell. <laughs> I'm trying to follow. I'm trying my hardest to follow along, but I'm so damn confused. So, do you have a job? No. No. There we go. How do you pay I'm your doing, bills? I'm doing my own work. How do you How do you pay your bills? I'm getting public assistance. Okay. So I'm I'm, now, I'm a, okay. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. How does being a nerd pay your bills? It doesn't, but I'm pursuing my passion. How do you pay your rent or your mortgage each month? Where do you get the money to pay your rent each month or mortgage? Public assistance, because okay, so I, I'm on yeah. Public assistance. Now yeah. this might be invasive. Are they going to pay for your body surgeries that you just told us about? Yes, Medicaid, Medicare, they do that. But I'm also believing God. What? You know, you maybe. Oh. oh. Yeah. You, the taxpayers, the taxpayers got to pay for the butchering, all right, of the meat. So it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, I ain't got no job. I ain't paying for nothing. I know, daggone well. You see. We're going to get into it just a, a tidbit. This is why ninjas like this be riding with Biden. Huh? He didn't got them able to get their meats chopped off or reconstructed on you taxpayers down. Oh, ain't that heck glorious. This is wicked. Yeah, you had to make this a 200 because he had a bingo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is wild. So, oh. he ain't done though. He ain't done. Or she, she ain't done. Yeah, she, it. Be some kind of miracle, miraculous something. Oh, okay. Um, so we got, oh, excuse me. We got Chris. He's uh, Chris Lord, 42, Brooklyn, no kids. What's your zodiac sign besides crazy? <laughs> Leo, the lion. Leo. All right. 
Now let's get to the question that we all want to hear. Well, who are you looking for? Because you, you say women are confusing. Who, 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 who are you looking for today? I want a woman by the name of Dr. Wanda Bynum, but really any woman who can help me and um, who, you know, likes a very a nerd and a geek rolled into one. Who's very, I very... I, I, listen, I'm not God, so I can't say anything for absolute. But I don't think you have a real chance with Dr. Juanita Bynum. That's okay. Okay. So what's, what's, what's second best for you? What kind of woman you desire? Second best? You mean the second woman? <laughs> I got a list. <laughs> we're, we're ready. Baby, yeah, I wouldn't mind you on that list. Baby, let me tell you something. <laughs> you got a better chance with Dr. Juanita Bynum than you do with Kendra G. Not in this time, not in the lifetime, after the lifetime, not in this lifetime. This is, this, this, I would become a nun. I would serve the Lord for real. First child, I would date a whale, a horse, a pig, a motherfucking Skittle. I would be the first person in a relationship with Candy. Twizzler would be my man before you and I will have something. I'll be dating popsicles. You know I'll what? Be a you and I. Before you and I, <laughs> you and you and I, I would be in agreement. We, yes. That's our chance. Because you I know. agree. I love popsicles. I love Twizzlers. I love all of that. No. A rock. I'm a candy guy. A rock that can't move at all. Got a, more, got a better chance. So let's stay <laughs> focused. Let's stay focused. All right. So you have a list. Now, Dr. Um, Jaren Nesbitt, number two. Oh, oh, okay. Do you have any? Do you have any deal breakers? Deal breakers. Mm -hmm. Don't be a man. Don't be a man. Okay. Don't don't be a man. All right. Um. Whew. What do the, do the woman got look a third way? <laughs> um. Beautiful and uh, hardworking. Beautiful and hardworking. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? Yeah, I, I need her to be rich. Rich, rich, rich. Oh, yeah, a lot of you women out there are rich. Stop not trying to play me. You know you are. Come, come on. I'm 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 ready for a woman who'll take care of me. Come on, come on. Where are you at? So so you want a sugar mama? Yes, yes. Well now I know why you've been single for 42 years. <laughs> you keep coming with these jokes. <laughs> Well, Mr. Chris, let's just talk for a second. Why would a sugar mama, and I'm not trying to be offensive, but why would she buy you? You don't even have a penis. Because that could be bought. Nowadays, you could buy anything. So you want a sugar mama that's willing to, okay, when are you going to get the, because what, cause what would a sugar mama get out of buying, out of, out of picking you? I'm a genius, and I'm a nerd. Okay. So life, we got some paid comments. Life with little Ruby, Ruba said, you want a rich, hard worker, but you are a broke, non-worker. Good one. Well, I work my passion, which is not uh, accepted in society, unfortunately. So, sorry. Okay. Oh my God. I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. So well, here we go, man. We got one of these. Um, what? What? What we gonna call this? Is like a, um, it's Ted. It's giving tether vibe. Shout out to my guy, probably. She talking about what do you do for a living? This one of them people who say, well, I work hard, but what I do is not recognized by people who pay money. But if I live somewhere where people pay for what I do, I will be rich. It's just that my skill set, I can't monetize it here in this country. But if I lived in a place where people valued me, I would be rich. <laughs> Time's out. What's going on? I tell you, listen here. Mark Mr. Walker's words. Life loves to imitate art and vice versa. Tracy says, says Bonquisha done turned herself into Nug Nug. This is serious. I want everybody to slow down. They are morphing 
They are morphing and mutating at an accelerated rate. Look at what's happening here. All right. Like Nug Nug and Bonquisha, they starting to flip flop. All right. Y'all ever see Vampire in Brooklyn? They pulling a flip flop. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Pops, man. They flip flopping and ish. You look over like, oh, that's Bonquisha. Then you turn around and do it again. Oh, wait. Now it's Nug Nug. <laughs> here it is, Tracy. Yeah. Bone Quisha to transform into Nug Nug. This is a whole ninja. Broke. Straight Nug Nug. Broke. Dang, they're homeless. Looking for a woman to take care of her, him, her. Like, and here's my other question. She claims to be a virgin as a man. Is she also a virgin as a woman? Like, can we guess? I don't care. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Got that goatee. Some of y'all brothers in the chat right now can't grow facial hair. How did that feel, man? That's unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you can't, y'all need to hit her up, get some tips, ask her what she's taking now. Huh. Yeah, listen, Jay Gray, this is re- this is very resident evil-esque. I'm trying to tell you the locals are mutating. What was that? What was that resident evil? Whenever they was like in Africa, oh my gosh. They was in Africa and, and they, they mutate in the village. Resident Evil the village, right? Here we are. <laughs> Welcome to the freaking village. I'm here for it. There we go. <laughs> Listen, so I want to read this one to you. It says, Billy the Kid said, this is exploitation of those struggling with mental health issues. Um, Billy the Kid, I just answered the phone. So this man believes you have mental health issues. I think there might be several people that might agree with that. Do you think you're suffering from mental health issues? Yes, I do. It's called, uh, yes, I have bipolar as well as OCD as well as ADHD, as well as schizotypal, as well as um, depression. Okay. Only thing but, I'm not going to agree with... Whoa! Where? 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 <laughs> she said she got depression, ADHD, uh, PDSTST, uh, skip so tip so. What the hell is skip so tip so? Yeah. Listen, I love it. We here for the confessions, and I tell you what, if you've been here all night, shout out to I love this moment in the show. Shout out to I am divine. He came through. This was at eight twenty five Eastern time. This was three and a half hours ago. I am divine. Say schizophrenia is real out here. Get some help. That was to the first sister we brought out tonight, that dusty sister. And then we brought out the 304, the retired 304. And now we are here. Three and a half hours ago, divine photo said schizophrenia is real out here. Get some help, Mr. Walker. <laughs> oh, ain't no way. What well, skit? What she say? I got bipolar, schizocranio, magneto, telepathic. <laughs> I'm gonna make some ish up. Y'all keep letting me go. Tele telepathic, schizophrenic, sp. <laughs> I don't know, but here, hey, honesty. It ain't so crazy. It know it's unwell. Glory to it. <laughs> Glory be. This is wild. Silver lining. Uh, Silver lining. Enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, where we at? I think. Shout out to Human Crust. <laughs> Human Crustaceous. Human Crustaceous became a YouTube member. Welcome. I love that day. <laughs> Show. Yeah. Boom, Takalaka. <laughs> Appreciate your devil games. Says this is a hobosexual. Yeah, indeed it is. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the sound, Bill. Hobosexual, transsexual. I think that's it's fair. Mm. <laughs> Appreciate your EJ Uno. Says which one should I pray for? Nuclear war, zombies, or meteors? We could talk about all those. You know what? The zomb- slow zombies. If we're going to get zombies, we going to take Resident Evil 1 zombies. Not World War Z zombies. That's that's not fair. That ain't cool. 
<laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. Take it back a second. Yes, I do. It's yes, called. Do. Uh, yes, I have bipolar, as well as OCD, as well as ADHD, as well as schizotypal, as well as um, depression. Okay. Only thing right. I'm not gonna agree with. Um, okay. Well, I would say, do you want to continue on? What do you want me to do? I said, do you want to continue on with this interview? Sure. Yeah, let's finish it. Okay. So yeah, only thing I don't agree with is exploitation part. I don't exploit anybody. This there's a link. You call the show. I answer the phone. And if That's I started, and 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 if and if people that use the words exploitation. If let's just say I started saying, oh, I'm not going to talk to you, then we'll have a discrimination case. Oh, Kendra's discrimination, discriminating against certain guests who don't fit what she feels is correct. So I don't agree with exploitation. What I do agree with is if you get through on the phone line, for the most part, you're going to have a chance. There are people I have hung up on, but for the most part, you're going to have a chance like everybody else. So that's just that. And the YouTube show is actually the hardest show to get selected in because you got to go through a lot of steps. So you can't be that mentally challenged, challenged at all times for YouTube because you really got to get the link and all that. But let's continue. Um, we got to the money. Let's do the Kendra cam. This ought to be a hoop. Yeah. Okay. So I figured. All right, we, we see you, Mr. Chris. That's what I figured. Okay. Um, so you've never had a relationship your whole entire life? That's correct. They want to know, um, Princess Bay said, would you date a trans man? If she's got money and if she is, uh, she got to be a woman. Then the answer is no. You wouldn't date a trans man, right? Okay. I am a trans man. Sorry, I'm a trans You're man myself. So you wouldn't date another trans man, right? Okay. Um. So you've never been in a relationship. So you've never been intimate either. Right. Correct. Okay. Courtney P said this. You don't miss. How, how does Chris not agree with women? but wants to be jobless and taken care of. Mm, interesting. That's how women are? I don't know. I thought women like to work and like to, uh, they take care of their home and they take care of the office. Well, a lot of women don't like to take care of anything financially when it comes to relationships. So that's not necessarily common. Most women on my show in particular, I hear they want providers, whether they have their own money or not. So where do you find all these women that like to pay for bills? We're there. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, what I can say is I'm, I got my own money coming. I'm just working on it right now. Oh, because you have several lawsuits. Exactly. And when you get, and when you win your lawsuits, how much money are you going to have then? Well, I'm starting out. It's going to take a while. But my first lawsuit, hopefully, if I can win it, will be $5 million. After that, you know, what? it really depends on the process. What? Oh, okay, so he's, he's trying to win $5 million lawsuits. So huh. Fred. Stop lying! Why you lying, ho? Stop lying! Crazy, I know the time, ho. I know Stop the time. lying. We slide, Stop. No. I can't, man. This is snowball and something crazy mental health is real yeah this this bussy that's that's incorrect this is a woman yeah, it's this is a woman <laughs> <I can't>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's such a blessing to be in in a lovely loving fulfilling marriage i tell you that god bless you won't he do it because it's wicked out there you know you might come across uh this this nug nug kuda kata that's gonna try to get you for all your bread have you tied up in lawsuits because you mistaked you know his his i don't even know what to say, I don't even know yeah. what to say. We, gonna, we gonna let him land this plane and we're gonna end the night folks here we go
So what are three flaws you have to work on, Mr. Chris? Changing my focus. I need to be able to change my focus. I need to be able to clean. I'm not good at cleaning like I should. And um, I need to be more attentive to my surroundings. Okay. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you, Mr. Chris? I can solve a lot of problems. Um, I'm smart enough to figure out anything. I'm a jack, jack of all trades. Just give me a problem and I can figure it out eventually. It might take me a little while, but I'll get it. If no one else can find <laughs> out, I can find it. Why do you think you've been single for the last 42 years? Because I'm too much of a nerd and a geek. I just, I, I got too high up in Earth's atmosphere like we talked about. I just stayed in my head. I just went deep into the recesses of my id, ego, and super ego. And I, and I just didn't come out until now. <laughs> I'm just so what, waking up. Hello, world. So are you just waking up? So what happened? Like, Matrix. did you go to college? Did you go to high school? Matrix. Matrix. Um, okay, we're almost done. Ma Life Matrix went a little and, One okay. more thing. Matrix and Matrix. Trick and treat. Trick and treat. Trick and treat. Matrix, Matrix and, treat. and Matrix. Okay. Um, um, there's a couple That's people that going up in the head. Very so heavy. There are some cousins. There are some cousins. Laquisha Richardson. That she says, work on your mental health and stability for before a relationship. I think. I think that is a. I think that's a common assessment. Uh, a lot of people do feel as though, and I think I can even be included. That you probably should see a therapist. Have you ever seen a therapist? Yes, I'm seeing one now. And what is your therapist saying? He's he's asking the same questions you're asking. Very logical questions. And and do you have logical answers? Not always, but I'm working Not on always. it. You're working on it. Okay. Um, well, I will say I appreciate your transparency. Um, I don't I don't like to be a dream killer, but I like to be a reality um, a reality sharer. Not a dream killer, but a reality sharer. I think this will be the closest you'll get to Juanita Bynum. I don't think, I think this is, I drew her out for you. I drew her out. This is going to be the closest. Are you, are you, are you kissing the paper? <laughs> that's, that's going to be the closest you're going to get to this Juanita Bynum. So maybe as soon as you can let go of that fantasy, you can maybe find a love that's an option, really. Okay. Okay. For the, for, for the person that might be an option, really, how can they reach out to you? Chris Lord on Facebook. Chris Lord on on Facebook. Chris Lord on Facebook. Um, the oh no, the tattoo doesn't come off. Someone, Doctor P, said, "Tell Chris to rev that tattoo off real quick." All the, oh, all, all the cousins don't believe it's a real tattoo. Do you mind rubbing it? It's still there, cousins. It's still there. Well, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you, darling. All right, bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye. Uh mm. Emotional damage. <laughs> this is crazy. And... And you see just now for that split second, y'all got to look at the eyeballs. I don't know if y'all caught that. That was dark. Mm, I missed the yeah. eyes. Scary. Wait, pull. Wait, pull. Look. There it goes. Ooh, go. there it is. Look into the eyes of the subject. Honey, don't yeah. look. Don't look. Don't look. Yeah. I listen here. No. <laughs> you want to you know the funny thing about when you stare into the eyes of evil? <laughs> it stare right back at you. <laughs> Yeah, don't look away. Fear is low level. Don't be afraid of these creatures. Look them in their face. Let them know I'm. I see you, and they are run away. Don't look away because then they're gonna run up behind you, and that's what you well, do. Listen, want. that ain't for everybody though. You gotta be of a certain ilk. Oh, y'all don't recommend some of y'all be walking around looking at her in the face. Like, you know what? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Little disclaimer. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. For some of y'all, yeah, you gotta you gotta be hardened by life. Yeah, you gotta be a little cuckoo yourself. Yeah, don't don't be all timid dealing with creatures like this. Yeah, 
have you been swallowed? <laughs> man. Yeah, because they in here, man. I can't. They done took the cake tonight. But at the end of the day, say what y'all want. What? That's still a woman. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking Virginia. Give me some of that Virginia. Still a woman. Just saying. <laughs> Man, there you go. J. Gray, this Emily Rose crazy. <laughs> For real. The exorcism of Emily Rose, man. Yeah, this is wicked. This is wicked. Yeah, you know what? Glory to Kendra. Glory to the Kendra cousins. You know, ain't no hate in this space. Let's get that understood. At the very same time, as logical earthlings, you know, this woman here says she ain't on earth. No pushback there. You know, we got to observe what we see here and call it out, call it what it is. This was this was very much unhinged. And it's unfortunate, you know. I would like to think that this individual does not represent, you know, all of the alphabet gang that he she represents. <laughs> yes, it's wild. So you look into the eyes and mm -mm. at the end of the day, awesome story. You kept us entertained. But the net net of it, we got to put you in the sub. Oh, that's really without question. From the very first moment you graced the screen, the we put the remote start on the uh, on the sub. Yeah, where my man Lucy? Lou, yeah, Lucy, waiting on you. Lucy got something special for you. You and Lucy should get them along just fine. <laughs> there you go. So the bioluminescence with you. Yeah. It's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Out of there. I ain't got nothing else for you. <laughs> Here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water. Wait in the water. Time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. <laughs> Woo. Hmm. Could you imagine being her therapist? Shout out to all the therapists out there that got to deal with us crazy folk out here. Like, that's intense. I couldn't be a therapist. I couldn't. Because I'm, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little cold due to, you know, my path through life and i will laugh at stuff that's funny i'm gonna laugh so you know you come up here talking about yeah you know i done chop my weenie off and tattoo wild stuff on my forehead i'm gonna laugh <laughs> man <laughs> shout out to devil games says she rattle off the dead sea scrolls of victimhood mm -hmm. <laughs> appreciate you coffee killer says schizophrenic x P, ah, there we go. Schizophrenic XP Allidocious. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Says she's a he now. Talk to Diddy and Meek Mill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Say he's not telling us about mental hospital years. Ah, Shutter Island. <laughs> huh. Appreciate you, Coffee Killer. Says he. Still thinks like a woman. I can't figure it out. I can't. <laughs> Shout out to the brother, the EJ Uno. Says, is this really where we are for dating in the black community? Or are we just seeing the, the dregs? Uh, shoot. This is, this is a reflection. Whether it's a large percentage or not. Is still a reflection, nonetheless. Enjoy. Mm. Appreciate you, skinny boy. Here we go with your mess. I don't even want to look at this. I, <laughs> all right, ladies, no chance to rapper. Oh, this for the ladies. Lady, no chance to rapper or Mister Ma'am. I am. Go <laughs> That's for the ladies. What y'all got? Appreciate you for the disclaimer, skinny boy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <God. laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy. 
Shout out to all y'all for coming through tonight. All right. First thing first, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. A lot of y'all are watching, didn't do either. Y'all ain't subscribed or hit the like button. So let's do that first. Also, I dropped the link for the Cart Before the Horse channel in the chat. If you missed the Regal Rumble Saturday, I know it seems like a long time ago, but just two or three days ago, still That's fresh. Crazy. All right. Mm -hmm. It just seems like a long time, but it really has not been. So Whew. yeah, head over there, check that last episode out for sure. <laughs> Man, Regal Rumble is never a dull moment. Yeah, shout out to Flora. Flora came due kicking and fighting and windmilling and holding her own with her absolute madness floor. It was madness. Sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> but way to be spirited. <laughs> Man. And also, uh, where we at here? I see my guy, Theo. <laughs> Shout out to the big dog, Theo Coop, over at the one and only Do Better Podcast. Come through the 20 ball. He says, check me out in the AM, good people. We're doing a deep dive on Kendra's guest, Miss Pimpstress, and her past. There we go. I'm definitely going to be there. Okay. Yeah. I'm there for it, Theo. <laughs> I was just about to say that. The more we was doing it, I kept seeing y'all in the chat. People were saying, oh, she was... And like you said, we went to her IG. She appears to be doing interviews, talking a about uh, pooping on people. It's, it's just wild. So we there for it. We here for it. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, it's going to be duty and gooch soup for everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to get wild. Going so there y'all go. There it is. Yeah, make sure y'all at the Do Better podcast in the morning. Theo left his – the link to the channel is in the chat here. So make sure y'all click. Just because Theo got the 100K don't mean you don't got to go subscribe. Still go over because now we headed for 200K and et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Freaking et cetera. We moving, man. Shout out to the big dog. There we go. Oh, my. We appreciate you, Theo, for that last minute $20 super chat, brother. Appreciate this you. This was a wild show tonight. Like I said, shout out to I Am Divine. He started off the night. He told us schizophrenia. This was at 8. 25 Eastern time. We've been up here cooking. All right. And schizophrenia is real out here. And this was a hell of an episode tonight. It is, man. You know, I know. Yeah. Schizophrenia again. <laughs> my family probably never go see this, but a lot of my family members got, you know, were diagnosed with schizophrenia. It's weird. You know, it skipped me. I ain't got none of that. <laughs> so there we go. Like I said, we appreciate y'all for coming in. Hit the like button on your way out. Shout out to the show sponsors, uh, Rashad Media, Rashad, Jamisha Walker, and I Am Divine. Yeah, big shout out to my new family, the Walkers, Jamisha, and her husband and her beautiful family. Too dope, man. And the Fosachi movement continues. With that being said, you ninjas know the role Hit the like button and or the subscribe button on your way out if you already haven't, which would be egregious. Those two things are at absolutely no cost to any of you. And don't forget to continue to support the channel, support beautiful black media, support your interests. Continue to hit that super chat, hit that cash app. And if you want something you could touch for your income, go ahead and check out our store. Get you some exclusive single buy choices and cart before the horse merch. And if you want that exclusive Fosachi, you got to jump in the email. So there we go. We appreciate y'all for coming through tonight. I see my guy, uh, Real Leo, said he come up Regal Rumble Saturday. We are planning on doing a, we was talking about it. I don't know if y'all, how many of y'all were here a few weeks ago, but we're doing panels last, the last Saturday of each month. There we for go. now, and then we'll try to open it up from there. But the last Saturday of each month, we're gonna open it up, do full panel shows, and we're gonna cook. But this week, yeah. we'll see, we'll see, Leo. Uh, hit us up in the email. But yeah, for everybody out there, we are doing we open it up the panel the last Saturday of the each month. There we go. So, y'all, we're gonna let y'all build up 
all the stuff y'all got to say. And then at last Saturday, we're going to just let y'all loose. We're going to be up here for 14 hours. <laughs> oh, there you go, man. <laughs> Shout out to the family, Jan- Jamisa Walker, man. Make sure I've said that right. Says, thank you, gentlemen. Great night. We appreciate your sister. Well, there we go. We appreciate you, Miss Walker. You are one of the show sponsors. Definitely came through supporting your interests. All right. I see y'all in the chat. My guy, Joker Nutty Nate, <laughs> be dropping the links like he always do. Um, Skinny Boy, CC Speaks, Devil Games. I see my guy Red Pill Ranger down here, Jessica, uh, Theo Coop. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Do Better Podcast. All right. Shout out to G Honda, Don Jeter, the big joker. All y'all, we appreciate y'all. For, sh- for sure, for sure. See Stevie D come back through. Say good. Okay. Stevie D come back through. Say good show. Crazy as heck, but good. You're most welcome, brother. <laughs> there we go. And shout out to all the ladies of single by choices uh mrs dc foel tracy ann mrs locks of smile gwendolyn um april johnson danny nicole rashina um too many of y'all to name so shout out to uh Amen. monique she knew shout out to miss natural michelle i'll be seeing her she be commenting on a lot of the you know video drops and stuff shout out to you sister Yes, yes. Shout out to all the ladies of Single by Choices. I ain't said it in a while, but without you ladies, we'd just be a whole bunch of guys over here talking mess. And that's a little weird. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, ladies. <laughs> so there we go. Shout out to Izzy DeVoe, uh, Odd Job, a.k.a. J-O-B. Okay. And yeah, Jay Gray, I see all y'all, man. We appreciate y'all rocking with us tonight. We'll be back up here Thursday. Yes, sir. Straight like that. So with that being said, I am Gavin X. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Carpet Foot Horse Productions. A good morning.